you can synchronize your farts like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, that sounded like a beer, bro. That sounded like a beer going down the gullet, bro. Hola. How's it going, man? Hola. Muy bien. How are you, Senor Checkmark? Muy, muy, muy bien as well. Buen bonitos de los Googles de cervezas. <laughs> also, welcome to Beer Googles. The Beer Googles. Jace. Double O, double G, <laughs> double E, and I all the doubles. I think we screwed that one up. I think, was, I, think, I think it started with an E, but I, I Dude, I don't spell. I don't, Last time, I don't, I don't so do good, math. Bro. I don't spiel so good, I don't, bro. I don't spiel so good, bro. Teddy Brosif. Hashtag, I don't spiel so good, bro. Bro. Microbes. We got to get that on a shirt. Yes, <laughs> Hashtag do. microbes, bro. And get your ass to Mars. Get your rust to Mars. Yes. Because I believe Tris is like, launch that bastard up in his face. <laughs> like, oh, shit. They talked to us for an hour and 49 minutes, and they're getting divorced. He's like two and a half, bro. Well, I'm rolling. Like I, I, I'm not good at time. No, no. That's how sad it was. Not for anyone, like, not for us, of course. Just, it wasn't an hour 40. It was like 240. And it was awesome. I liked it. It was a it. long time. When you look back, it's, I swear, it's the, it's the time warp, man. We have Isn't it here every time. I think it is. And is it Tim Curry? It's Curry, right? If I'm not mistaken. Isn't that uh, from Rocky Horror? Yeah, right? you're a picture show. Yeah, it's Tim Curry, though, correct? Sure. So, Timothy, whatever it takes. I need to hijack the podcast for a moment, please, sir. Oh, yes. I, on the way over, I was having a conversation with, with a, a very special guest, Ricky Schroeder's thumb, in the car. And wow. I, wow. I have to tell you. Does Ricky Schroeder's thumb travel well? He does. I do have to buckle him in. It's like a mini, mini, mini child's car seat. Does Ricky Schroeder's thumb like to stick Ricky Schroeder's thumb's head out the window? He does. He's like a little doggy. But it, the problem with, with the ride over here, it was a one-sided conversation. He really didn't say a lot. However. He's like the silent Bob. He's the silent partner. Of He's the silent thumb of he's Jay's silent, silent thumb. thumb. So uh, thumb. we we decided that we needed to at least, I understand this is going to be released in a month or whatever it is. Yeah. But we're looking um, at, we're looking at uh, early November. Probably. I did need to mention, uh, and I know this is probably played out already, but one of my childhood heroes did pass away yesterday. And I wanted to at least take a moment and, recognize Mr. Edward Van Halen and all of his contributions to the rock and roll world because next to Jimi Hendrix, those two guys were the best guitar players to ever live. So he influenced my childhood in a massive way. 1994 was the gateway into me being a massive, massive heavy metal guy. That that record, well, tape, sorry, that tape, on the beach in Southern California in 1984, the summer of 84, was groundbreaking in my little adolescent childhood brain. So I, I, I was sad for a little bit, and then I'm super grateful that I have all that music, and I, I got to see them live a bunch of times, and I got to see the drill with Pound Cake, and I got to see Eruption live, and I'm so grateful that he was around for so long, and he influenced so many people, and he, I have so much respect for his talents. Back to you, Checkmark. You just have me nodding, my friend. Yes. So, uh, how many times do you recall seeing him? I believe only two, on the Fuck Tour, and then on the 05 Tour with, um, with Sam, you know, with Sammy. Yeah, I saw the Four Unlawful Carnal Knowledge Tour. That's mine. I, I know, yeah, we talked about that, and you were in Philly. Yeah, in Philly, we, yeah, booed, got, off, we booed Alice in Chains yes. off the stage by chanting Eddie. And you got, you got us some guitar picks. You got some guitar picks. Yeah. I still owe you one of those. You I do. have to find Mother them. Mother trucker. I think I, I, have, I have it. I must find it and then present it. Speaking of presenting, since we just said that, I, that's about as smooth a segue as we got. But oh, um, yeah. do we want to do like uh, three seconds for Eddie, five seconds for Eddie, or? no. Just everybody just listen recognizing to, his Everybody listen to your favorite awesomeness. Van Halen song. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and he battled cancer for a very long time. From what they said. They, I don't I don't know. Yeah, I, I I just knew I heard cancer, but I don't know what yeah. kind. Yeah, I wasn't I, aware he even had cancer. Yes, neither was I. But I knew he smoked for many, many, many long oh, yeah. times. Yeah. yeah. Both fingertips and cigarettes. All that shit. Because he played so quickly. He was a badass. He was pretty badass. He was a a phenomenal guitar player. R.I.P. Absolutely. Rest in power. Nice. You're welcome. 
Even better, my friend. Um, what did Ricky Schroeder's thumb have anything to add to that? Not a peep. I tr- I tried to get him to say like yay or something, or that, like even a sniffle. That fucking guy. Because you should be he sad. Literally, <laughs> is the silent partner. <laughs> <laughs> He's the man behind the men. Silent Ricky Schroeder's thumb. I don't know if that's going to catch on, man. How many? How long do we test that for? Like a month's worth. Seventeen of podcasts? days. Seventeen days. <laughs> We seem to, that seems to be a running theme in our in our podcast. Ricky Schroeder right? in seventeen days. 17, well, just seventeen days in Ricky Schroeder's thumb. Um, Moving I, along to I, other I, housekeeping items. Yes, housekeeping. House, housekeeping. You like me for your pillow? Me for pillow? What kind of podcast is this? You want you want blow job? You want hand job? Hey, what kind of podcast is this? That's very well said, sir. You're Thank welcome. You. I just hijacked Woodsy's phrase. <laughs> that was that was my bad. No, um, please hijack away. Well. Our previous beer Googles, I believe the one right before this one? Yeah. Is that correct? I don't know. What are we or, talking about? Well, the one we just we just listened to. <laughs> the one that was, was released about, today? Yeah. Or no, it was released like last week. The, the sandwiches and shit? Yeah, the sandwiches. The waffle fries? Name, name the entree. And the side and the, the drink. The side and the drink yeah. from our favorite fast food places. And I went on a Diet Baja Blast uh, rant. Yes. Uh, extreme rant. Yeah, it was fantastic. <laughs> it was... I, it was not good. If you I was put not vodka in it, moment. would it redeem itself? Yeah, well, that's I'm totally down for that. No, it wouldn't. It oh, tastes okay. like okay. shit. So we get a message. Okay, so I don't know if you know this. We have a crack research staff. We do? Yes. Is our producer Co- aware of this? No, super senior producer, Mary. Yeah. I'm sorry, super senior executive, executive producer. producer Mary is very unaware of our crack research staff because we cannot have them c- contact each other. This is how oh. this, is, this is the check and balance. It is the service the check, excellence department. It's a check mark balance show. Okay. It's the check and balance. <laughs> it's the check portion yes. of the check and balance. So our crack research staff and our super senior executive producer may not. There needs to be an air gap between them. Yes. Because they're keeping each other honest. Crossing the streams. Yes, they're keeping each other honest. So super secret or super senior executive producer Mary came up with the concept of favorite entree side and drink. Yes. Meg Z had her favorite Mexican pizza, which is going to be removed. Yeah. Probably right when we're releasing this podcast. Right? Yeah, ironically, yes. Ironically, yes. Sans beans. Mexican pizza, sans beans. But twice, I went through the drive through ordered a Diet Mountain Dew, and got Diet Baja Blast twice. No freaking clue how that happened. Anyway, caused a stir. We talked about it. But that was an employee. They gave, yes. They served you incorrectly. Yes, and it makes no sense how you can mix these up, because one is like this crazy color. So I've gotten some response about this Baja Blast now. I would like to, to speak uh, to crack researcher... Numero uno. Yes. Both in ranking and the first to respond in this case. Okay. It's Elisa. Yes. We've we've said hi, hello to Elisa once. Yeah. I don't even know if that podcast has been le- uh, released yet. I don't think so. Because our regardless. research is terrible. Our, well, our research our is research, horrible. You, yes. you and I. Our, yes. Yours and mine, but not Elisa. She's on top of it. Who can so, she, I get, uh, you know, she slid into my DMs, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Dear, no. I'm just kidding, God, boys and girls. So hi, Megzy. I'm going to read this. <laughs> hi, Megzy. <Maxie. laughs> re- I'm going to read this verbatim, so there's no confusion. Okay, one Baja Blast is not diet because they just made a diet version and it is rank. That is correct. There is the original Baja Blast was just Baja Blast. The diet one I can only speak to because that's the one that I was served twice and it was un- undrinkable. It couldn't even touch my lips. It was so bad. So that is correct. Thank you, Elisa. Number two, you can easily save money and make Baja Blast yourself by mixing two-thirds blue Powerade and then one-third regular Mountain Dew. Powerade always first. The other way around may look prettier, but will taste shittier. That's poetic right there. That is crack research. That is some crack research. Yes. Uh, That's Nobel Prize (laughs) worthy. I believe I believe she's a biologist. I'm not sure. Well, she should get the Nobel Prize in biology Let's see and if research. I have her over. Does it tell us who, what, who, and what? Uh, I will click on Elisa. However, this is so. 
be, make sure that you put in the Powerade first, then the Mountain Dew. When do you put the vodka in? <laughs> Always. It's its own shot. It's its own. Okay, so what would straight. be the best alcohol to put in there? Hold on a second, man. We've got one more. One oh, more oh small, shit. Fuck. Sorry. Business. That single combination is how I got through Baja Blast cravings in college. LOL. So, Elisa, thank you for that. Environmental, I'm sorry, environment science major. Okay. So, a heady person so with a heady choice. This is what you're well, saying. <laughs> eons. I was going to write back, you know, you know, if you join us to tell us this, you'd be the smartest person in whatever room any of us are all in. All, both. All, both of us. Both. Because I don't even know that you and I are in the same room and we're, we're sitting across from each other. That's how dumb I am, bro. No, stop. Yeah. I'm not so smart. So thank you, Elisa, for sharing two thirds blue Powerade, one third Mountain Dew, Powerade first, then the, the Mountain Dew. I love that she tried going the other way. And it's gross. It's rank. No, try it's what she said. Well, yeah, but she saw that it was prettier. Yes. It had a prettier appearance. I wouldn't even have thought to look for appearance. I would have been like, what's that shit taste like? Yeah, I agree. Because we're dudes. It must have this cool effect. So I'm thinking about doing it, not to taste it or drink it, but just to see what it looks like compared to doing it the other way around. I, I do. I did just get a case of a Powerade Zero from the Sam's Club yesterday. So maybe I will buy a Diet Mountain Dew on the way home and give it a try. Or a Mountain Dew Zero now. They have Mountain Dew Zero. Do they? Or Ma- it's weird. They have both now. Both. 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 What? what what's? The, oh my God! This is so dumb. What's the? Oh my God! What's the difference? Yeah, you. You know, you want to know. <laughs> no, I don't want to know. I don't care. I be- I don't care. I'm gonna guess you do. As a person who's had, who's gone through what you have, you have you share with. Twitter world, the Twitter world. That I fell on my head. Yeah, no. You hit your head. No. TBI. No. Not so good. But what does that have to do with Mountain Dew? Because diet Mountain Dew, I believe, has aspartame, which is oh, bad for you. Oh, yeah, like, neurotoxins. Right. The zero has sucralose, which is a neurotoxin. That's why Coke Zero you shouldn't drink. That's why diet Coke is better for you. But diet oh. Dr Pepper doesn't have sucralose in it. So you do not want sucralose. Bad for you, specifically for you. With. I show I sh- okay I didn't know that but you always have been drinking diet coke so it's not a problem especially with bourbon and whiskey yeah especially <laughs> all right so we got that taken care of so housekeeping again I know it's like pro- late October early November but guess what actually this is either going to go out on Halloween if it's on Tuesday yeah we or should release this the on thirtieth thirtieth is Friday we should release it this week due to the Friday. topic. It'll be the 30th. Thing. Good. I like it has that. To be. Yeah, because it's totally going to be. It's yeah. topical. It is. Actually, it's extremely topical. Not like a cream. Not like a cream. But topical. But, but not topical is this month. No, we're in October now. But last month, you and I had shared birthdays. We did. Four of us had shared birthdays. We all went to this amazing dinner and whatnot. Now, you and I do not get gifts for each other. Until this year. However... Something I saw, I came across made me think of you, so I got you something. You're so sweet. I did not know that you got me something, and you got something. You actually ordered it, so you put. I ordered into it, it like three and a half weeks it. ago. I ordered both of them three and a half weeks ago, and only one arrived. The other is on a slow boat from the Czech Republic, and I'm very upset with Amazon. I need to speak with my shipping department. <laughs> the shipping department. My shipping department not so good. His, his name is. Oh, Vladimir, just, no, Dimitri, you, you fired both of them? I was going to say both of them, but it's not. It's, it's Radedenko. <laughs> Radi, radicchio. He's ridiculous? Radicchio, like the, like the arugula. It's like that. Anyways, He's uh, lettuce? our shipping department is many, many days behind on shipping. Our shipping is taking a sheet. <laughs> shitty shipping is what we Shitty call. shipping. Like shitty com. beef. Like shitty beef, yes. Okay. Okay, so in in the vein of that, I just can't. I'm sick of like sitting on this. Can I just want you to have? It. Yeah, I know you're so an impatient little seven year old. I've got a Shake Shack. It's funny. Most people are impatient about getting gifts. I'm impatient about just giving them away. Weird. Okay, uh, yeah, weird, bro. You're. Well, I know I you're know. weird. Whatever. It's a total bullshit joke. I think so. Shake Shack bag, brown paper bag. You cannot see it. I have the top covered with the. Conspiracy theory aluminum hat. Which I, s- I see this. It's good for something, actually. Well, besides your gift. brainwaves. Well, the brainwaves that never could. I think they got to me, man. Uh oh. They? <laughs> they? They? You know, you know who they are. You know who they you are. Know, you know who they are. You so know, I'm going to reach into I the know. first part of the bag and bring out the first piece of the gift. Okay. 
and you I'm, shall describe it, and then you I'm, can open I'm up the second so part. so excited. It's so stupid, bro. But it's <laughs> just because I love you. So here you go, man. Here you go. Good thing we're 16 minutes in, and we don't even know the topic of today's podcast. Oh, my God. It's a Diet Dr. Pepper. Yes! Is there sucralose in that? It's a can. I believe no. This is what I'm saying. This is the one with the aspartame. So can I drink that or not? Yes, you can drink aspartame. It only gives you cancer, not... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So it doesn't hurt my brain, but it gives me other cancers. Yeah, it's the phenylalanine. Phenylalanine? Phenylalanine. That's my, dude, that's my favorite that, that, carcinogen, that bro. That stops your heart, bro. Phenylalanine. Don't worry about it. Thank you so much. I've yeah, always so, wanted so one now, can now you must of open. Diet Dr. Pepper. Right, well, I've got, I think I got the ratio right. So now, please. Oh, is there a Diet Mountain gift. Dew and a Powerade yes, in there? there is a Powerade and a Diet Mountain Dew in there, and you're going to have to put them in the correct order. And we have a zero. Oh, oh boy, he's trying to Super open Super heavy, bag. man. I know, bro. That's, that's how it works. Here's the foil hat. The foil hat has been removed, and it's been applied to Christopher's head. And there's a huge bottle. There's a huge bottle, oh, sir. Oh, my God. Mr. Jack Daniels. It's just the littlest thing. Thank man. you so much, sir. That's I, very I, kind of you. I, I will say this. You were in my mind, and I walked by Costco, and I saw it, and I said, I got to get I You're always get on my mind. So I believe I got the ratio right. One can, a 12-ounce can yes. of Dr. Pepper and Diet. 1.75 and 1.75 milliliters of whiskey. Liters, liters of whiskey. Yeah. Not milliliters. No, yeah, 1.75 liters. Yeah, yeah liters this, is the big, this is the big memory. That's jammer. a big boy. That's, I would like to present the first of the three wise men, it's just, Jack Daniels. Jack. There are four wise men. There are? Jim, yeah. Jack, Jose, and Jameson? Uh, no, it's uh, Dan Jack, Aykroyd? Jim. Jose Cuervo. Jose. Yeah. And um, I don't know the fourth gosh, wise man. Right. We, we covered Jim Bean, right? Jim? Jim, Jack, Jack Jose are the three Jose. wise men. There's a fourth one that I always get in, that kind of sneaks its way in. Is don't it? Don't worry about it. Uh, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny Walker. Walker. Okay. I believe. That's scotch, though. But it, well, yeah, but it's a whiskey. Yes. And Cuervo is tequila. It'll so, kill you. Right, but it's tequila. It's not also like what Johnny and Jim are. True. Or, or I'm sorry, with Jim. Jim, and Jack, and Jose. Jack. Yeah. The, yeah. So yeah. Thank you. That is very kind wonderful. of you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I will and enjoy it thoroughly. I want you to enjoy it thoroughly, and it's for you to consume. In so 2.3 hours when I get home. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Me and Jack are going to have a reunion tour. We're not even going to be done in 2.3 hours. 2.9666 hours. We're like probably, yeah, about 18 minutes in, 19 minutes or 17 minutes in. And minutes we've in. talked about nothing. We don't even know what the topic nothing is. Nothing from yet. nothing. But the nothing. topic is in the notes, so they already know. But they they're know. waiting with bated breath. Bated breath. <sighs> we should write that down and we should come back. What? Where does that saying come from? Yeah, with bated breath. Yeah, and so stupid things well, yeah, like, like that. Like keep your shirt that. on. Yeah, write I those two those. down. Write them down. Tell, Malark, we already have that one. That's on our topics list. Okay, don't we got you? All right, we got you covered. So, in the vein of that, so uh, Merry Christmas! Thank you so much. Happy birthday! Just Happy drink. Arbor Day! Enjoy. It is beer Google, so you know we were going to call it whiskey click, but it's we weren't sure how. Ah, uh, salute, salute. Enjoy, enjoy the, the enjoy responsibly, the ladies and gentlemen. Yes, do not drink and drive home. Nope. that is not what we do. Here. I'm an advocate of that. Yes, sir. we have to be very careful because it's not your, just your life. If you want to go and kill yourself, just go and kill yourself alone. Don't get in a car and potentially hurt. Well, other. besides the fact, one beer you can go to jail. And yeah, that's one it. beer does nothing, and it's so the laws the are stupid. smell the smell. Yeah, they're stricter and stricter, and it's, they can get you for really, anything. It's really dumb. Yeah. It's unfortunate. So, but, you know, it is what it is. It is for safety. So, I mean, I'd rather have a sober driver than a potentially no, drunk I, driver. No, I totally, I, of course, I completely yeah. agree with that. We've all had run-ins. Yeah. So, so we got, I think we got our stuff covered, man. Yes. We're covered on our the stuff. The longest housekeeping ever. Longest housekeeping. Housekeeping, go away. <laughs> they, that, that you could hold that long. Could you hold out that long for the housekeeping hand job? Pretty good. It's a long Perhaps. Time. I couldn't hold out that long. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like, ah, oh, at housekeeping. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> mm. uh, so today. Jace. Uh, there's a near, n there's a new G Google's of beer. Yes, sir. I heard. Yes. But Google I don't even know what it's about. They said What's this? What's this? What's Today's this topic about? from the home office in Scottsdale, Arizona from our super, super senior executive producer, Mary. There's a kind of a two-parter. What should the rules be regarding when people 
decorate their houses for holidays or apartments or condos? And when should businesses be allowed to be to sell decorations for holidays? All the holidays, Valentine's Day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, it's Halloween, list, I believe. Fourth of July, Fourth of July, Easter, etc. Mem- so, if you day. were president of the universe, what in your mind would be an acceptable date range or an acceptable number of days before a given holiday where? It's cool to put up your Arbor Day decorations. I love Arbor Day because I love trees my so favorite, much. It's my favorite one. Right? Yeah. So, or if Columbus Day or whatever your favorite holiday is. Okay, well, some people put up their stuff nine weeks ahead of time. Okay, that in some people's mind might be somewhat ridiculous. Lowe's and Home Depot and... Trying not to be too judgy per se. Correct. But trying to be rational also. Correct. So there is a there is a logic to this. This isn't just two old white guys rants. Well, it's... Uh, or 52 it's people's It's 1.5 white. old white guys rants. Right, but you understand. Well, 1.5 white middle-aged dudes. Middle-aged dudes. Are you middle-aged? What uh, is middle-aged? Definitely, I'm definitely middle-aged, man. I mean, you don't have a lot of gray hair. You only have like, you have like I got, seven. I got gray everywhere, bro. No, you don't. Sides. Sides. Uh-huh. Okay, move along. Move along. Move along. Move so, along. of course, I uh, took the usual survey, peoples. I love your survey. Would you like man. me to read the question that I posed? I would love to hear the exact phraseology. The exact phrasing coming in phrasing. hot. So, before we continue, may, may we may we agree on the, t- on the holidays before we go through? Because we're going to dissect They are listed in here. Okay, and I just want to make sure I've got all okay, of the Okay, well, so I'll, I'll read you the survey question, and then you can fill in the blanks. Okay? Yeah. How about that? Perfect. Okay. Survey of the day. Survey of the day. Regarding holiday... Decorations, Valentine's Day, Easter Memorial, 4th of July, Halloween or Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. A, when is it appropriate to start decorating number of days before, days after blank XYZ? B, when is it appropriate for businesses to start selling decoration number of days before, etc.? That is the survey question. That I asked 75 million people. Million. And I got 11 responses or something to that effect. I don't remember how many I got. I'm very interested in hearing this. So the questions are, one, for a personal, when is it okay for you to drive by a house and the decorations be up? Yes. How early before the actual holiday that for which they're decorating? Yes. Two. Yes. And and taken down after also. I, I agree with that, yes. there's a range. I agree. So I've seen... Christmas decorations in February and been a little upset. Well, they're just prepared for next year. <laughs> they're uber prepared. They're super Virgos. I feel like they're lift prepared, not uber prepared. Oh, yeah. Because right? they're not as good. Yes. T- put up, take down. And that's for the personal. And then the second part is when can when should you, when should stores display it? When are you not nauseated by the time? Correct. Stores so again, if and take down, you're obviously. president of the universe, when... In your mind, should there be rules regarding this? If so, what should they be? Yeah, it's like our etiquette rules. We had it for yeah. concerts. Yeah, yeah you, just, know. you know, it's without judging, we just have some feedback. Do you want we'll to state what Meg Z heard when she went to Lowe's or Home Depot? Or would you mm-hmm. like to save that for the end? We will save it for the actual okay. holiday, which is the last one anyway. Okay. So we'll just go and we'll just start at the top of the, month, the year, right? Well, the problem is that the... Responses I have are uh, just a mix. Right. That's true. Are we going to go for each person and which ones and each one that they're talking about? Correct. All right, bro. So it's a, it's a big, it it's a big smorgasbord. I could have broken it up, How but do you that would have taken them, bro? One, one bite at a time. time. So I could have, <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. I could have totally broken cool. it up by no, holiday. It's okay. No, it's totally good. Let's do this. We got, are we starting with the Georgia boys? Are we starting uh, with super senior executive producer? What, I'm going to say Mary's for last because hers was funny as shit. Okay. I like funny as shit. Um, yesterday on the golf course, I asked Adrian and he, he laid down the law this year and he's oh, super shit. proud of it. I love it because his birthday is December the 10th. Oh, it's the worst. And his wife and his kids hate him because he said no Christmas decorations before my birthday. So December wow. the 11th, 
they're allowed to put up the decorations. Uh, two weeks is bullshit. It's so, but time. he did say, I said, okay, I, I love that I get rule. it. I love the dedication. I, and then I, I gave him a secondary question. If your birthday was not in December, how would you approach it then? He said, I, I would be totally fine with the Christmas decorations going up the day after Thanksgiving. Like Black Friday. However, he said Christmas caroling should not be allowed until December 15th. It, two weeks prior. And nobody prior? else mentioned Christmas caroling, so I thought that was super interesting. I think Christmas caroling is a great thought to have because car- it's the only time when you, you don't do it for Easter. You There's no such for, thing as right. Easter. No why, Easter. Why isn't there an Easter carol? Yeah, why, why is it a fucking... In the coldest fucking time. Like, why would you want that? I'd, well, in the desert, I guess it's balmy. Well, yeah, <laughs> I don't still know what you call, You're probably okay temperature-wise in the, in the winter. I don't know. He did say that he would allow... The selling of Christmas decorations beginning on November 1st. Okay. I like it. Let's move on because we got a lot of these guys. Yes. We're going to go through because we got a lot. You and I are going to definitely expound on ours. But that's a good start. I like it. Being a December person. Yeah. I, have I ever told you the number of people that I dated that are Sagittarius? No. I have dated. Oh, shit. Magsy. Earmuffs. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, Basically, Sagittarius was my weak spot. Uh, November 26th, November 28th, December 3rd, December 8th, December 10th. Do you have a spreadsheet or something? No, they're just all in my memory. Wow. When I, when I heard the 10th, I went, e. Not super cringe, just not a Just a little baby great. cringe. Yeah, a little cringe. But Magsy and I are both libraries. Libras. Okay. So we're good now. We're scale. I'm tipping the scale. Excellent. Oh, may I? I have got something I need to share. Uh-oh, side tangent. This is the first T-shirt that I'm wearing that I bought that is size large. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, I'll be here all week. You look good, dude. Uh, thanks, man. Lost some weight. I, I gained a lot of it back now that I've gotten healthier. It's the stupidest fucking thing. I don't want to but talk But you don't... But the... Who cares? You're wearing a large shirt well, down I, from I'm, a it's growing. Now feel quadruple already. X or something. I was, yeah, it's a bit. I was at my most. I was high. I was heavy. Yeah, but you weren't like a double. Were you a double X? Bro, I was 297 pounds. I knew that. I, right. But what size probably shirt were you? Probably a three. Triple X. Probably a three. Hey, <laughs> now. Hey, now. <laughs> I was just, you know, like, you know, the large mound around a mound of rebound. Charles Barkley. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> That's terrible. I was like the large mound of mounds versus Almond Joy. I was I was a large mounds, Almond Joy, Snickers, whatchamacallit, Reese's peanut butter cup. That sounds so delicious, dude. Doesn't it just mix I'm that so shit all right together? Now. I know. You want a cheese stick? No. <laughs> I got a PB and J in my bag too. Uh, I'm good, man. I know you're gonna need some protein after after half of this podcast here because we're we're getting down and dirty. Down and dirty. So down and dirty 10th, with Christmas. I like it. If it wasn't, they're cool with Black Friday, basically, of uh, putting up the decorations or having the director yes. decorations up. Cool. And then down like a week after, I guess. Uh, he did not he didn't say. say, but okay, cool. I like it. And then decorations up November first. That's very legit logical. Legit, legitimological. Le- legitimological. Correct. I dig but that. But legitimate and logical. and logical. It's like a Travis Sham mockery. It's, it's the a, opposite of misconfusion. It's, you know, it's like almost remembering, but not misremembering. Misremembering. Unmisremembering. Yes. Is the one that I was I unremembered. I unremembered. That's exactly right. <laughs> All right. So Adrian's number. Uh, okay. So you talk about Christmas. All right. Yes. Yeah, so Heather basically the said the same thing. Okay. Decorate the day after Thanksgiving. Take down between Christmas and New Year's. And she wanted uh, to make it, she made a point about the fact that it should be more about the family gatherings and the, the get togethers than, than about the capitalism and about the decorations and all that. The commercialism the, and consumerism yeah, correct. of it. It should be, you, you should appreciate the people around you. Right. You know? Well, that's kind of part of the point is we're seeing the displays in stores and they seem to be going up earlier and earlier. That's It just feels that way. Maybe I'm wrong. I agree. But when I tell you what Megzi told me, I think you're going to be pretty freaking surprised with, with how early a certain store did a certain decoration. Teaser. Stay, t- stay tuned. Stay tuned, everyone. Okay, so Heather had that. T- I, I agree, I think. And it should be about gathering, shouldn't it? Should yeah. Be more, because that's what's important. Charity, right? You know? Yep. Next was Echo Lima. He said, only 
allowed to decorate in the month of the holiday. In the month of each holiday, regardless of the holiday, in the month. I like that. I like that, too. Uh, and then he said... I'm trying to think of early holidays, though. Fourth of July. Well, Easter could be an early holiday also. It could be April 3rd or something. And Fourth of July, like you said. Right. Can it be as early as eight? April? Yeah, because it's all oh, the moon right. cycles. It's either late March or early April. Correct. Is that correct? Yeah. There, there has to be a dispensation on that. There has to be like, like a week or, or whatever, a, whichever's longest. The way I see it is, is it a roving thirty days? So it's a fifteen days on each side. Because he said it's a month, the month of the holiday. The month of the holiday is different than a month before the holiday. Of course, right? Because the month of the holiday could be two days if it's on the second. I know, month. right? So yeah, that's too, that's dangerous. Yeah. So maybe if it's April fourth, you can you can start March fourth. Yeah. What if we? Okay, we could do that, or we could do some. Even if he really likes it to be shorter like that, we could say um, the month of the holiday or seven days, whichever's longer. There you go. Right. So like, is somebody writing these down? Mary, write this down. Super senior executive producer Mary Naval salute. <laughs> I got my hand on my button of my bells. The naval, uh, he the did naval. state. Equilima stated that uh, businesses could start selling products two weeks prior to the start of the holiday month. Okay, so he, so he has a bigger opening for that. An extra two weeks, yeah. So the decorating is the personal touch. Is month of correct? Okay, okay, that's tough, man. Because what if Easter is like on the first? Which it could be. And you have to get all the decorations out, like like you say you're doing you're heading an Easter egg hunt, right, with the yeah. plastic eggs or something. You're you're playing that for a week, man. Of At course, least. you got to you got to have a little time, a little time. You would think so, but then I like the other thing about two weeks before the the start of the month, though, because that'll give that gives them a little bit of heads up. Hear about peeps? I don't know if you know about peeps. No, you I know about peeps. Yeah, like, they're like my favorite. Okay, I don't know why they shouldn't be, but they are my favorite. And when they're a little stale. A little biting. Oh man! I just like putting them in the microwave and exploding their faces. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Really... And I showed you my hippie peep, right? The dude. No. You know, with the with the hippie goatee and the glasses. glasses no. Rings? I have to show you him. I was. It was like a new peeps idea for. You know, someone can take and run with it. But hippie peep. It was. It was um, a hipster peep. Hipster okay. peeps. Not hippie. Hipster. I think it was hips. Hip steeps is what I was calling them or something. Okay. Hip beeps is what I was think I was calling. Okay, something like that. but it's totally cool. I have to show you my sketch, my drawings. May may I show you my drawings upstairs? Do you like my drawings? Would you like to come upstairs for a cup of coffee and might see my drawings? I my would sketches? love to. You sexy bastard, mm, delicious. So, um, peeps, they are not selling any peeps until Easter this year. They have a shortage. How of, do you have a peep shortage? A wor- it's some, fucking some, sugar. Some about the workforce getting either getting the material and or make manufacturing enough to meet the demands. Or is the so they're saving all their say they're saving all their materials, all their ability to make the most for Easter because that's their most popular yeah. holiday. So no Christmas, no Thanksgiving, no Halloween. Even there's a there's a decent peep. Peep movement with Halloween a orange peep and black. movement. Yeah, there's some what orange are we black? fucking talking about? Peeps? No, this is so dumb. <laughs> okay, well, I just thought think, my peeps uh, wanted to know. Do you think? Look, uh, Elisa is living her life one marshmallow fluff sandwich at a time. I, I know that's per, cool. Yeah. Do you so think? Why can't it be relevant to like some people who actually listen to us? Do you think the peeps that make peeps got COVID? They got peeps. They actually they got avian flu. <laughs> they got the swine flu. They got avian flu. Oh bro. god. Anyway, <laughs> so next uh, we are rapidly slowly moving through this. E, uh, that was Echo Lima, correct? Yes. And he said month of. Yes. Boom. Done. Next was Felicia. Hi, Felicia. Hey, girl. So she said, for Christmas, you're allowed to decorate. And sell the items starting the day after Thanksgiving. Black Friday. Seems to be a running theme right now. One holiday at a time, please. Exclamation, (laughs) exclamation. Very hard. Quote, unquote. Hard for Thanksgiving and Christmas, for sure. Or Halloween and Thanksgiving, just because they're like, a month apart yeah if not less than a month apart. right those are tough to not cross particle streams yeah but i agree with felicia 
So do I. I'm forced to agree with Felicia, of all people. I, how Felicia dare I, you? Like, we're usually at odds. I know. But she's, she's, well, she nailed it, though, with the drink, too. She nailed it. Good job, Felicia. And Thank then you. she said, Thank you. The rest of the holidays, who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's which, my girl. Which made me laugh, too. So Get it, girl. Felicia knows what's up. All right, who's, who's her next? husband? Uh, husband. Mr. Mr. Steve said Steve. Halloween and Christmas are the only times to decorate, and stores can start selling them thirty-five to forty days before. Wow, just like Lent. Oh, I didn't think about that. The Catholic motherfuckers. No, he was Mormon. That's. Do they do Lent? I don't know. Did, did John Jason Smith, John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith? <laughs> Schmidt. I, what's the f- I know, but what's his name? Jason Smith. John, John Smith? Smith. Is it John Smith? No, no, it's James. Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith. I can it, That's why I had to say John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith because I don't remember Joseph. Yeah. Okay. Didn't you see Book of Mormon? Yes. I'm we Jesus, talked about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about that on the last one, man. All right. It's funny how sometimes we record the day we put something out or listen to it, and yeah. then we re- refer to Reference it a lot, it. like a yeah. million times, because right. we just listened to it. So I'm not. I'm not biting on your. I'm not catching onto your bait, my friend. You just tried baiting me. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking the bait. I just moved right past it. I so sad. That. I know. You're like Jaws. You should be sad. Piano wire. Now we're back on track. So you just keep trying to loop us back in. Back into that podcast we just released yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday's. All my troubles seem so far away. So now we are uh, here to stay and listen to more people say what they believe about holiday. Boom! Holy shit, that... That was off the cusp. Cuff? Whatever. Cuff, cusp, whichever it took. Cuff. Wow. I'm I'm taking a bow for that. That was like work. Don't hurt yourself. I rhymed all Don't, of those. Don't like together. pull a hamstring, you know. So Steve, what Steve said 35, 40 days. So yeah. he does lent worth. A lent worth of time before. Yeah, and I don't know he's not Catholic, so I don't know how he knew I that lent true. part. No, he he didn't say it. I said it. Yeah. So I don't think he was thinking that. I think he was just being thirty five to forty days. It does seem very biblical. It does seem very biblical. 40 days is And a on big the 38th thing. day, they started selling fucking Christmas 40 trees. 40 days and 40 nights. Right. There's, mm. And on the 36th day, there was a stocking hung in the window. 40 is a big number. <laughs> 40 is a big number, my friend. Especially in that Bible. That Bobby got going on now. All right. Who's, who's next? After Stephen? Uh, Thank honor- you, Stephen Felicia. Jace. Chris's adoptive parents? Yes. Even though they're younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> that's still my favorite part. It's like having an uncle or aunt that's like 10 years younger than you. It's and you're so like, How weird. The fuck? Hi, yeah. Uncle John. Yeah. Why are you Uncle John, I changed your diaper. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> when I was 10. Can you babysit your uncle? <laughs> no, Mom. This no, is bullcrap. I want to ride my skateboard. I want my uncle to watch me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that is weird when that happens, huh? Timmy's uncle's older. Timmy's uncle watches him. Timmy's uncle's Why 49. do I have to watch my uncle? <laughs> I want to play with my Hot Wheels. It's bull crap. <laughs> Do they still even have Hot Wheels? Uh, Do kids I, even want Hot Wheels? I've seen them in the fries. The fries. It's Those that's mark. a grocery store for all you other people who don't have fries. Yeah, Kroger. Whatever to- you want to owned call it. by Kroger, correct. Yeah, Kroger now. Which is fries Kroger. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got weird places. Who so, doesn't? So who's next after Mr. Steve? Mr. Akins from the Akins, Tucson. The bog. Yes. He said decorations no more than 25 days or four weekends, whichever is longer for Halloween and Christmas. I like that. See, I, I like well. this whole whichever's longer without that. That puts real definites on it. Yeah. All others, 14 days. I like it. Very solid. Solid. Uh, solid. Absolutely. I don't know what else to say. I keep saying it. I'm stuttering now. For everything except Christmas, take down within two days. Christmas is 10 days. It's good. I like it. Um, s- <laughs> selling of holiday shiznit. That's selling, the- selling of selling, selling of holiday shiznit. I'm quoting him. Shiznit cannot start. In front of another holiday. No more Christmas in October or November. So Black Friday again. Y- yeah, be I, I believe that's, yeah. Black Friday seems to be a running theme, and I, I think that's legit. I think it's logical. Very nice. Who do we got next? 
Who do we got next? Who? What? What am I? What? What? What, what am I doing? doing? What am I doing over here? Who? Do, who do we got next over there with them people's talking about this subject? It's uh, a weird blah, blah. one. Man. What's going on? I'm trying to look at all these different holidays. So should, while you're looking, yeah, should I talk about the Megzi one or should we wait? I think we should wait still. Okay, we should keep teasing it. Who's next after the boggers? Uh, my buddy Rod down in Georgia. Well, he's from here. Is he Georgia he, boy too? No, he oh. he's from here, but he moved down there. Got it. Um, he set a decoration approximately thirty days before selling approximately 45 to 60 days before. All right. I like it. Anything about taking down? Uh, no. I'm trying to read what he said about selling. He said... But we all do want what we want, and sometimes there are deals in July for Christmas. Like, if you're... I, I get it. So, let me just play devil's advocate. So, to to his point, let's say, you know, you and your family and your kids after 10 years of having a real tree, you're like, okay, honey, we're going to, we're going to break down and get a, get an artificial tree. Okay. The one with the LEDs and the fiber optics and yeah, the super nice the one. Flop. And yep. it's $400 or something stupid. Okay. And you see a deal on Amazon or you see a deal on Walmart. Prime Walmart. Amazon Prime Day. Yeah. happens to and be like it, April, right? Right. Or and it, let's May. say it's like two twenty five, and yeah. you're, you're saving 45%. Correct. It's like, okay, I see his point about a deal in July. Like, yeah, but I, who said that they just can't advertise it that way? We're talking, you're not putting up Christmas trees. Right. But if you're in Lowe's or you're in Home Depot or you're in Walmart or you're in Target and there's a, a Chris, the, the Christmas tree that you want and it's yes. 45% off. Yes. You're, it's one single display. It would be one tree with the boxes behind it. Yeah. Of the product. Right. That would be allowable because it's a sale item. That's, that would be treated just like any sale, not a row. But do a you actually think that it, those, those those business establishments would have one tree or would they have a row of shit? No. What I'm saying is in I July, understand. if they were selling it like a special to try to get you in the store. Oh, okay. They'd only have one. Okay. I understand. That doesn't count a Christmas display to me. That yeah. counts a single sale item. I Yeah. It's kind of like in mall rats where like but different. it's not the food court <laughs> or anything's in the food court as part of the food court surroundings. This is more of a question of. It is just a singular singular sale item, therefore does not constitute a display of Christmas shit. Yes. I understand exactly what you're saying. Got it. So I'm totally cool with Crystal that. Crystal. And they're clear. and they're right. Like I but he may have also said meant hey he who yes. Jose? Rod. Rod. Oh sorry. Roderick. Roderick. No, Rodney. Sorry. Rodney. Hello, Rodney. This one's for you, my friend. If you see this, I, I totally get it. I think you were speaking in generalities like, hey, sometimes there's a sale you got to buy something for Christmas in June or July, too. So yes. strike while the iron's hot anytime. Agreed. Yeah. Thanks, Rodney. Moving along, uh, my new buddy, Golf Chris. Golf Chris. He said uh, four weeks prior for both decorations and stores. Okay. I like it. So a month, four weeks. Okay. You ready? Yes, sir. Georgia boy number one. Oh, GB1. Here we go. Depends on the holiday. Christmas. Of course. Day after Thanksgiving for decoration. I will concede that stores can start selling after Halloween. Thanksgiving is tricky. November 1st for Thanksgiving specific decor. Can be sold Starting at fall. I like that you're learning how to read on our podcast. Shut up. I'm trying to understand what he meant by that. I don't get it. Yeah. Halloween can start decorating October 1st. Can start to I'm be sold September you, 15th. Got Memorial it. and 4th of July decor can go out a week or two before. Bat, this is the most amazing thing I've ever read. <laughs> Memorial Day and 4th of July okay. can be sold year round. Quote, cuz America. <laughs> <laughs> Anything with a flag on oh, it. Can be sold I, when I read that shit, I. Cuz America. America. That's exactly the answer to I, that question. End quote. Well, it certainly answers my why question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that That's shit. Beautiful. I was crying when I read that shit. That's funny. Easter America. can be tricky too, since it can shift almost a full month. <laughs> 
Yeah. You can decorate the week before and stores can sell the month before. Yeah, but you know that you know when Easter's coming. Of it's course. Not like, Everyone has a calendar. Right. You have a calendar at next the next year's holidays. That's what I pulled up. Yes. Ridiculous. Correct, of course. So it's not like you're it's not like Easter sneaks up on you. One thing maybe we should look up is why why are there bunnies for Easter? Yeah, why Easter bunnies? Why does that have to do with the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Because Catholics want you to fuck like rabbits. <laughs> To keep the population. Going. Why are the bunnies chocolate? Because Catholics don't want you to be in the pooper. So they, <laughs> you fucking sicko. So they, so they give you chocolate. I Catholics know. frown upon anal sex. This is the only brown thing you're allowed to stick your tongue in. Oh my god, dude. Or on. Or, or lick. around. Around. <laughs> wow, this. <laughs> This podcast. I withdraw the question, Your Honor. My mother's probably listening, and uh, I apologize, Mother. No, she's not. She she maybe she can't hear it over the sound of your dad hacking up hair and milk in the background. Yeah, but sometimes this is what happens. the The way I know that my mother listened is that I will speak with my mother, and she goes, "I listen to your podcast again." No, no, I have to curse so fucking I'm much. so disappointed in you, Georgie. Georgie. Oh, George. It's almost what it's like. I'm sorry that we fucking curse so much. I apologize, Madre. I still It's all you. Woodsy's fault. Just We're blame the, me, dude. It's always it's, me. It's an, I'll blame it's it on always, the a, 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 a alcohol. It's always my fault, man. It's not, Just bro. all my friends blame me. I'm the bad influence. It's totally fine. You're a beautiful individual. Well, that's very sweet you of you, so but I don't mind. I, w- I couldn't sit here and have a conversation with you. Whoa. So deep, bro. So <laughs> deep. All right, let's let's move along. I think our love fest is, is sickening everyone else, but our yes. and ourselves. We've been reviewed on a couple podcasts. Some have been very glowing, and some have been more honest. So, what? What? Thank you. To do both. we want to know what the bad stuff is? Yeah, I'll share it with you later. Oh, well, not I'm not right, gonna. Yeah, not I'm not right. gonna air our dirty laundry. In front Why not? Of our we audience. just did. <laughs> yeah, but the, it's for a laugh. This is for sadness. Oh fuck! All right, now I'm curious. I'll share it with you. No, it was an honest assessment. We've gotten some nice feedback. I talk too fast. I cuss too much. No, I think it. A lot of it seems insidey because if you listen to every, if you listen to the newest podcast first, it is both our most polished. Oh, potentially, absolutely! Is potentially our most polished podcast. Yet it's also the one that's furthest away from any reference we make in the podcast. In a previous one, yeah. So, for example, like. Breaking into check mark makes no sense. Yes, it does. <laughs> to us, 52 episodes in for sure. But if you're listening to podcast 30, we're on 40 something now, 40 something, whatever it cares. is. If, you know, 220, whatever it takes. If you're on this one, you listen to that one and check mark breaks out, there's no context to what who this guy is and what he's doing. So <laughs> but to isn't us, that it's funny hilarious. too. May, but it could be off putting if you don't have content, like if you don't relate to it. If you don't relate to it in any way, but some of our loyal res- like research team, our crack research team who has listened to us many times know the origin story of all these types of people. Do we have to retell the check mark? Well, I feel like every once in a while, not like every podcast, and we've done it once, so I'll probably do it in, a, in maybe five or six more podcasts. Okay. But it's just one of those things where it's like, check Deutsch Wooder and plain old have to just, plain old Mark have to just make it. They just have to all come out at the same time. We took a poll, by the way. Do do we share those results? How pathetic well, that was. I mean, I I think that we could share the results, but not the total number of votes. I think checkmark won in a landslide, right? In a landslide. So, and I love that. Sixty-seven, almost sixty-seven percent of the votes. Right. I mean, that's huge. And number second place was plain old Mark. Yeah. And Deutsch and Wooder got zero. Got like zero. I I really that's do like sad. Wooder. I like Watermark too, but uh, you know they're all kind of got their own, their own. Uh, but if, accomplishments. See, if I didn't know you, I wouldn't know what that accent is. Correct, because I know Boston and New York. Right. And, Boston's and, the most, popular and I know one. like Minnesota, South yeah, Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, yeah. and yeah. obviously I can the the southern dialects I can pick out, especially Georgia. Well, Georgia, you know Alabama, Tennessee, Georgia. You Mississippi. What. I can I can West Virginia. I can I can pick all those out. That's easy for me yeah. because I lived there, blah, 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 blah. So, but Philly, Witter, I never would have got. Philadelphia. I don't know why I said Philadelphia, but Philadelphia and Baltimore are kind of redheaded stepchildren oh. on the East Coast. 
They sound very similar I in their talk, about Baltimore. but they don't pay attention to those two cities. When you think about it, you, even though Boston's actually smaller it than is, Philadelphia, yeah. but Boston has more weird relevance, I think, in both in sports. They have so many Correct. championships. I mean, yeah. they're an accomplished sports organization right. across all. And the Eagles didn't win until recently. They won and, once in and their 100 the Phillies, years. Right? Yeah. Phillies won twice yeah. in 100 years. Right. Like, Think about how crazy that is. The Sixers won one time in 83. Right, right. That's it. And hockey, they won twice. 73, 74, 74, 75. So that is it. There is nothing else. Where Boston's had... Yeah, the, the Celtics red, the red again and again and the again. The Celtics eleven times just with the, with the uh, Bill Worthy, right? Or not Worthy, James Worthy, not Worthy. Uh, Bill, tall guy. The t- you mean the tall guy that plays basketball? Tall guy that plays basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Bill. You know, it's Bill the, Russell. Russell. Oh, get your Russ to Mars. Get Damn your it. Russell to Mars. Damn it, Russell. We could put that Bill on the Russell. Celtics jersey. Yeah, we should do that. That's genius. Get get Bill Russell to Mars. Yeah, <laughs> he could start the. The Mars Basketball Association. You know what he could totally do? What? Reach for the stuff at the high on the top cabinet, top drawer. Whoa! Yeah, they might Mars. need that in the spaceship. I know. On your tippy toes, okay, Mister Russell. We need you on your tippy toes, <laughs> and then reaching. Okay, I got this. Boom, done. Right. Next, we're just full of genius. Actually. Okay, George Boy number two. JB, JB two. The wife's rule is that you can decorate starting with the first day. Of the month the holidays in. Halloween decorations can come out on October 1st. I think businesses could sell the month before the holiday. Christmas decorations out at a store in September is nonsense. Nonsense. Exclamation point, I hope. No, I I think he was doing a shot of tequila right there because the question pissed him off. I'm, I'm assuming. I have no idea. I wanted an exclamation point or I wanted all caps in the text. I, I, I apologize for his lack of all caps. I'm I'm a little saddened. Disappointed. Okay. Disappointed. Not upset. Disappointed. Oh, okay. Are you going to be okay? I'll be okay. Do you want me to get you some sucralose <laughs> or some aspartame? It's okay. <laughs> I'll be okay. Uh, do you want some just Jack give me Daniels? A Damn it. Just give me a just minute. She... I just need Burger. a minute. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. I like, the, I like that he has to, he abides by his wifey's rules as well. He well, knows where he his does refer to her as the evil succubus, which I find hysterical. Seriously? Yeah, it's fucking awesome. Do, do, in front of her? Uh, I, 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 now, yes. <laughs> Apparently, no. I don't. This just in Twitterverse. This person's wife is a succubus. Well. A what uh, succubus? An evil, evil succubus. succubus. Aren't, aren't most all, women? That's kind of redundant, though, isn't yes. evil succubus redundant? Because then aren't succubi Milli- already evil to begin with? Are there good succubi? I have no idea. Because they're succubi. They can't be good. I, I'm uncertain <laughs> if there's like a good witch and a bad witch. Yeah, I don't know if there's like the you succubi, good succubi of the east or the succubi, good succubi of the west. Oh, I'll get you, my pretty. <laughs> oh, you're a succubus of the west. I can't have that. <laughs> Oh, the ruby succubus slippers? Oh, shit. I'm melting. I'm melting. Okay, we got to get this back George on Boy, track. number three. GB3. The month of the holiday to decorate is fine and stores selling a couple of weeks before the month is acceptable. All right. I do remember going into Target two days after Christmas and they had Valentine's cards out already. Two motherfucking days after Christmas? Fuck that. That is the 27th. And Valentine's Day is a fixed day on February 14th, correct? That is... That that upsets me. That hurts. It's like one month and three weeks prior. For one that's not even like the big one. The biggest one. All right. I, I need you back. I need you back, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. I would... No, no more reading. <laughs> Wake up, sir. Sir, wake up. So sorry. I need some sucralose. I'm sorry that you're halfway through this bottle of Jack. (laughs) (laughs) You're 0.875 liters in. Mm. Mm. Whiskey. (laughs) All right. Are you ready for the piece de la resistance? Oh, yeah. A wee 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 boo boo. All right. Super Senior Executive Producer Mary's response. I love Super Senior Executive Producer Mary's response. All right. This is like a goddamn beautiful dissertation of amazingness. 
Okay, go for it. I'm ready. Valentine's. I'm ready to do a spit take. Let me get some. But do it. Let me get some beverages in my face. Valentine's, all caps. Stupid holiday. Stupid with two O's. Holiday in quotes. Nice. You She's should, really on top of that. Oh yeah. You should tell and show the person that you love every day in caps with a simple kiss, foot rub, back scratch, a hug, and I love you. So don't decorate for this hallmark, quote unquote, holiday. Okay. Let's, let's, yes. Oh, hold on. And this is coming from an amazingly beautiful woman. Absolutely. For a woman. I've met Mary. We've broken bread. For a woman to say that Valentine's Day is horseshit is, I've never, ever, ever, ever heard that. Ever. Well, she gets it. Yeah. But it's like Megzy. I'm not going to lie, man. Megzy's like that. She's, okay. I wasn't about, aware of that. Okay. Well, it's about it's about like intimacy or the closeness throughout your life. Not yeah. just on a given date that you circle on a calendar. Don't be a dick all year. Yeah. Just not on Feb- fucking February 14th. Yeah. Just, it's not extra special. Like, I'd rather come home uh, on like August 8th. With flowers that were not expected in, and there's no fucking reason at all. Yeah. And she would see those and go, oh my gosh, that's pretty cool. I did not expect that. I'd rather have that. I, yes. Then give her flowers that she knows she's getting on a date that's circled and everyone's expecting it. I agree. Very, very much. I, I think many people agree, but, you know, com- consumerism, commercialization, um, it's like they, they use it to hold hostage over people and get people to buy jewelry and flowers and expensive dinners and blah. And, and it's almost like you feel obligated. Yeah, I agree. And it's interesting. I'm wondering, I'm now I'm just going through the, maybe we should go through all the holidays, but we've got, I would, I would argue that February 14th is, has more of a feminine energy to it. You think I would, I would argue that Memorial and 4th of July has a little more masculine energy with with Labor Day guns. And I agree. Guns and the military. fireworks. Yeah. Uh, Labor Day, yes. But Labor Day, we don't really decorate for. Well, you put a flag out. Yeah, you could. But the Labor Day is really for labor. It's more Flag Day or Arbor Day or uh, uh, it was Veterans well, Day. Well, yeah, but I just remember I always, my dad always had me put the flag out. Yes. Oh, for every major holiday when we had Correct. off, especially on that Monday. Correct. We always put a flag y- yeah. out. Yeah. It was a very just tradition kind of thing. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Holiday, uh, American flag was displayed on every holiday. That would be president's day. The 10 MLK. federal holidays. Yeah. All the, all the federal. Yes. Holidays. Columbus day. Columbus. Yeah. Uh, presidents, blah, blah, presidents, blah, 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 MLK, all of them. Um, so I was looking at that. That's fine. Okay. So that one has a masculine energy and then Thanksgiving and Christmas are like, well, then you got a kid's holiday in October. Oh, but, Halloween. Well, uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving and Christmas are really just family oriented holidays only. They because they tend to be around family, right? Yeah, of you course. take your kids trick or treating generally, right? Yes. Until they're old enough to do it themselves, but you take them generally. It becomes a family thing. So you've got feminine energy in the early part of the year, you've got masculine energy holidays in the middle of the year, and then family oriented holidays at the end. And I don't know why that just popped into my head. That's but a good point. It seems really there's nothing like a fair mix of the of those. So I don't know That's, what yeah, that means. It seems valid. It just popped into my head. I don't know if that means anything. Hopefully somebody can read into the cipher. In, in Vinci, uh, I believe in our research Vinci department code. is going to Our crack research team is on it. Uh, may I ask a really dumb question that I may regret and that I may have to withdraw? Why is it that a lot of young women feel that Halloween is an excuse to dress like a slutty kitty cat? Rick your shoulder thumb. Um, Thank you. <laughs> I I can't speak for a woman. Well, I've never been I one, so I God. think that would be well. That would be really. Okay. It'd be challenging for me to speak as a woman, but thank God. If the, it's almost like I would look at it like the purge for like the movies, right? The purge. Uh, okay, the movie, I'm the purge. wondering where this is going. Well, once a year you get to just slaughter everyone, right? Yeah. yeah. This is your purge. This is your once a year. You get to just act reckless or Slutty. have that appearance of recklessness. Okay. That's okay. The recklessness tends to manifest itself in promiscuous looking outfits or teasing outfits, 
But the recklessness could be something else. It could be doing like car bombing or like flipping a car over, you know, like mischief night stuff. Right? Yes. You, you could get reckless in Devil's multiple night. different ways, yes, right? Yes. So the, I don't know if healthy is the right word, but the best expression that's safest might be just teasing people in promise, promiscuous out, outfits. It's a very excellent response. But for real, I'm being serious. <laughs> Thanks. You're laughing, and I'm like, I'm, yeah. I'm, well, I'm I, laughing because I can't believe that load of shit just came out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Are I you truly jealous? believe that. Is your face jealous of the shit that uh, just came out of your it face? It is, and I'm so full of shit, my hair is brown. Whoa. So it's, I'm actually Grecian formulating the gray away with yes. the shit that's oozing out of my brain. Um, no, I truly believe all of what I said. I okay. think that's a that's thing. That's a good point. And I think it's very challenging to talk about that subject without being sexist or misogynistic. Yeah. Because a lot of it, people would point towards the patriarchy going, that's what's expected of us. And that, I don't well, think no, that's I, true. Well, no, you I don't, think, no, I, I don't, don't, don't do that. Dr- do whatever, right. you know. I don't think that's true. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm jealous that I don't dress like a skinny little sexy kitten. I totally would. If I would totally dress so dirty. <laughs> I told you I'd wear, a th- I'd wear a thong and like a schoolgirl outfit. I totally do it. I was going to actually. On Halloween or all the time? Uh, shut your mouth. <laughs> don't, don't talk about the other times. Um, no, but uh, I was going to get dre- be one of the Charlie's Angels for uh, Halloween. With two other with this my year? neighbors, my old neighbors. Oh yes, which, yeah, my old neighbors. That would be so rad, dude. It would have been awesome. And then our neighbor next door, she was going to be Charlie, Charlie, or the guy. Oh, hello, Angel. Yes, uh, it was going to be reverse. Yeah, it was going to be reverse. Dude, that's so badass. I would have looked so hot with the beard. An oh my god, oh, it would have been great. And the and the and the extra skin and just flab hanging everywhere at <laughs> the stretch marks. Were you going to do like a my little halter midriff? top? Oh. Tie that shit off, bro. Oh god. Tie it off. Like show with my the A-cups. hairy stomach. Yeah. <laughs> That's so great. Tie off my A cups. Oh shit. I would have done it because like who cares? It's fun. It would have been totally Yeah. And with those guys, oh, you, I would have been you guys would have had a great time. Oh my god, it would have been so much fun. But something fell through. It just fell through, unfortunately. But say love you, man. It happens. All right. So Move what along. else we got? Move, so Move along. Mary like, Part slutty two. thing. Does that kind of answer? Yes, it does. Absolutely. Do you have a theory on it? Uh no, uh, that's why I don't understand why it, it just seems like, hey, it's Halloween. Let's dress like a prostitute. It's almost like every single year, the pictures that I see on Instagram or on in, on social media, people are being more risque and more, it's like- Pushing the boundaries. Yeah, absolutely. And I don't understand, why don't you just be- a firefighter or, uh, you know, Tarzan. Uh, no, that's not a good example. Or you that, That's know. Halloween, bro. They're both Halloween items. Well, yeah, but They're Tarzan's already Halloween. naked. So that did that. Oh, that with that, his loin. His loin cloth. cloth. Yeah. And his, yeah. So you see what I'm saying? I do. Don't be naked, I guess, is the point. That's like. <laughs> Don't be naked. Uh, hey, now. That's my native song. Come on down to Checksmark's Lounge. Don't be naked, please. I I like to take it off. <laughs> I like to take it off for you. Do not come here naked. I must rip it off. Yes. At least wear a trench coat it, yes. when you're seeing trench check mark. I need teasing. I cannot have just platter just laying in front of me. I need to know what's under. I need to lift the cover. So it's a platter. Yes. So that is the worst analogy ever. It's very good. Ever. Worst analogy ever. Ever. So. Um, <laughs> Moving along. Yeah. Mary's Easter Diatribe. <laughs> Maybe put up decorations one week in advance of the day. Take down that day or the day after. All caps, no lingering with the bunnies. <laughs> I repeat, no lingering with the bunnies. I wish, can she record herself saying no lingering with the I, bunnies? I'm going to so get, we can put that on the I'm going to get, I'm going to get on right I now. I would, honestly... We need to send her a message and ask her to do okay. that. Because no lingering with the bunnies would be our eh eh for everything. No lingering with, with the bunnies. bunnies. Sir, can I go out tonight and hang out? No, no lingering with, with the, the bunnies. bunnies. <laughs> that is no. That's a And that no. bunnies could be Playboy bunnies. Anything. Uh, uh, jackrabbits, whatever it takes. Peeps. Yeah, exactly. 
any kind of bunny. Even though they won't be making them or releasing right. them. Well, next, next year Easter, at Easter time, we won't be lingering with them. God, I love peeps. Single-handedly got me to diabetes, along with everything else that I eat. I was going to say, did ma- the baked potatoes that we ate all those times had something to do with it? All those times? You mean like the, all those baked potatoes I ate all that time? Yeah, all at the times time, that we went to steakhouses? Like 8,000 of 8, baked potatoes. It's not just those carbs, bro. My pancreas just isn't making the insulin it needs to make. I have no idea, man. I'm just making it up. You're a fantastic witch doctor. Yeah, I, I rub some of that blue shit. What's that Kramer blue shit, the purple stuff on my face? The salve. Did you put the bomb on? Who told you to put the bomb on? I didn't tell you to put the bomb on. Who told you to put the bomb on? I don't remember that one. Jackie? Yeah, you know, I remember Jackie. The bomb and everything went away. But then he went to some medicine doctor and he turned purple and he was like yelling afterward. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Thank so, you, Ricky Shorter's Thumb. Yeah, that Ricky Shorter's Thumb. First Genius. of all, thank you for keeping Christopher company, uh, company on the drive over. Yeah. I know it's a long Safety first, trek. Mr. Thumb. And look, thank you for offering to help him if he ever broke down on the side of the road. Yeah, he would be excellent He'd with be the, the jack and the tire. <laughs> yes, he wouldn't be good with <laughs> hitchhiking, sir. Not at all. He's a thumb. I could, th- I could throw the thumb at people on the expressway. <laughs> yeah, and just don't get off their foreheads. <laughs> Boom, give me a by. ride. Give me a ride. Somebody yeah. just got hit with a thumb. <laughs> what the... Oh my god! This looks this looks like an eerily familiar thumb. I've seen that Acacia Strain movie. I have a drama seen that strain, ca- whatever the hell. Uh, all I have the seen strains this movie before this this doesn't end well for the thumb. It does for Ben, <laughs> it but not for Ricky's thumb. Very well for Ben. He gets to go home to Julia and the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Wilbur. I never knew she had horse teeth until you said something. That's all your fault, dude. You never knew. No. That's sad. Sad that you didn't know that. I'm disappointing you now. Are you, everyone's disappointing me today. Maybe I'm in a bad mood. Uh, you, why? Doesn't it sound like I'm in a horrible Today's mood? a great day, dude. Roar. I'm oh, just, yeah. Ah. That, um, unleash the fury. Yeah, I'm so angry right now. <laughs> <Just a dipshit. laughs> All right. Moving yes, on. Yes, I am. Uh, Mary's Memorial Day. Man, she has got all, all oh, yeah, covered. This, yeah, this was the email, bro. This is why she's super senior. Se- se- Do we have to give her a super producer. promotion? Another one? We, let's, well, she got let's demoted get, and then through, re-promoted. Right. Let's get through this first before okay. we think about any pro promotions or demotions. Memorial Day. If decorating at all, it should be just that day and removed the next day. This shouldn't really be a holiday. We should mourn the people that we lost by showing our patriotism with our flag hung at half staff to show that we appreciate what those men and women had to go through. Well said. Um, I appreciate the military, the men who serve, Absolutely. men and women who serve, yeah. the military as a whole, females, males, my pops, all branches, all the peoples, my father as well, Senior Gibson who texted me today, did he? Yeah. Oh, Danny, we thank you, sir. Thanks for because he sent a picture man. of a uh, Lowe's, and they had Christmas shit up, and he was pissed. Uh, we're going to talk about that, my friend. Uh, you remember? Remember when I talked about that? Yeah. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to get there, but Mary, Mary's still diatribing. So we got to Memorial Day. I'm assuming we're on. Remind me to come July. back to Mr. Gibson. Oh, can we? Yeah. Do you want to do it now or do you want to do it? Sure. Later? Yeah. Mr. Gibson sent me a text today, 8.58 a.m. Dude, I was in Lowe's this past weekend and saw this. It was absolutely nauseating. Exclamation point. And there's a picture of all this Christmas shit. Yep. <laughs> Complete bullshit. Completely fucked. <laughs> oh man Danny. oh i Thank thought you, i was i input. thought man I, holy crap I, I, hey daniel i'll give you my therapist number okay bro yeah um hey we have a couch in here yeah come if, do you think we could charge less than it would cost him to do therapy he could just fly oh, out here yeah, we, we could crash we could we would charge him seven dollars not a hundred even charge he just has to pay for the flight out here he can he can crash here he will get him a free couch everything yeah we insta therapy Right. right, but it has to be on our podcast. We'd do it live. We'd okay, do all the breakout breakthroughs, the breakdowns, the all nervous, the breaks, all every break. Yeah, ups, downs, throughs, all the all the directions, ice, the icebreakers. As yes. we introduce ourselves to people. Hello, hello. Thank you, William Shakespeare. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Okay, Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Uh, decorating it all Mary, should right? be that day. Remove the next day. Okay. Halloween, her favorite holiday. She had to point that out. Ooh. Put up decorations a week or so before remove the next day. Wow. Thanksgiving. In conjunction with Halloween decorations. 
Start the week before Halloween and keep them up until the day after Thanksgiving. Because they're that's fall colors. Shopping. Blah, 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 blah. Right, that's smart. Orange, yeah. Yeah, and browns but, and fall yeah, bullshits. Absolutely. It's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Uh, Christmas, the day after Thanksgiving, is when all the stuff comes out of the garage. Her husband, Wayne, will not allow it before. Ooh. Say this one again, though, because I want to hear these dates, these solid Christmas. Dates. Christmas. The day after Thanksgiving. Black Friday. All the stuff comes out of the garage so she can decorate. Her husband will not allow it before. Wayne, you keep that. You put that foot down, I like sir. that hammer, sir. I like it. Like little Thor. And, that, and that's not authoritative on her. That's just. That's just. That's a holiday thing. Yeah, that's a holiday. That's a holiday thing. For sure. The day after Thanksgiving is when I start decorating for Christmas. Black Friday is where it's all at, ladies and gentlemen, sounds like to me. The decorations be- start to come down the day after Christmas. The tree stays up until January 1st. Love it. Okay, regarding businesses. Oh, this is Mary's separate piece. Yes. She really... Man, if it wasn't for our crack research team, our crack research team. Where staff, would we be? And super senior executive producer, Mary. Where would we be? We would have no shows about which we would speak, or no topics, and we would have no vetting of the topics about which we speak. We'd be lost. Yes. We'd be a rudderless ship. We would be up the river with no paddle. No paddle. Down the river, wherever Down, it takes. Over. Yes, the creek. Yeah, calling out. Or yes. In, whichever way you want. Are you ready? I am. Businesses should not be able to put up Chris. <clears throat> I'm going to repeat that because I don't know how to speak English. Businesses should not be able to put up Christmas things when it's 110 degrees out. Exclamation <laughs> point. <laughs> exclamation point. Exclamation oh point. For fuck's sake. Exclamation <laughs> point. Exclamation Sorry. point. I, that, I should not laugh that hard, but that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> It is way too early for Hobby Lobby and Michaels to have this shit out. (laughs) Perhaps closer to Halloween, they can start putting things out for question marks. Have a beautiful day. Exclamation point. (laughs) Mary, I'm I'm enjoying these. I want to share something about temperature. That is all of Mary's stuff. Temperature, go. The Phoenix Coyotes. Yes, I said Phoenix because when they were when formerly they were doing yeah, this, yeah. they were a Phoenix. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not dead naming you fuckers. The Phoenix Coyotes in 2010, 11, 10, went to the Western Conference Finals. So if they had won that series, I'm looking at that and it's making me very anxious. The microphone's uh, just swinging, it's swinging around. Around at you, man. You, you're possessed by a ghost over there. So. Uh, obviously, the further you go through the playoffs, the later it gets in the year. Well, Western Conference Finals, they're playing the LA Kings, so they haven't. It's the 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 last ones before the Stanley Cup Finals. The Stanley Cup Finals could take up to seven days, another two weeks. But the last day when the Coyotes were eliminated, it was 104 degrees out. It was 104 degrees out during a Hockey. National Hockey League <laughs> Stanley Cup. Western Conference. Was that in June? It was June, very early June, yeah. Either very early June or very late May. But uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. It it probably would have hit 110 at one of the, if they had gotten to the finals. I don't understand why there's a hockey team here, dude. I do, because I like hockey. Well, you like hockey, but that's because you were raised in Philly. And I'm white, bro. It's a white sport. That has nothing to... I don't know. You're right. It's an entertaining sport, and... It is, but should Phoenix, Arizona have a hockey team? Well, this is the thing. Do you consider Phoenix, Arizona a top ten, a top ten city? Yeah. So, but not a top ten sports city. That's a totally different thing. I'm just saying most sport, most top ten sports or cities have one thing in common: a four sport. They have four sports. I I understand. And they're the the four majors. I I get it. Got NFL. I know. I mean, shit. We didn't have NFL here till '88. I know. Jinx. They had basketball is all they had, right? And then they had the D backs in 98. 90, 98. The Suns were the 60s. And the Coyotes were 96, 97. I have still have a ticket. A it's ticket. it's next to my Eddie Van Halen guitar pick that I have to find. For <laughs> I know exactly the box in which it you resides. Do? Yeah. Stop it's it. a pink, like a hot pink, you know, like 
fluorescent glow pink. Uh, slot machine box. I used to carry all my slot machine cars and stuff in. I was a oh I don't I don't know if I told anybody this, but I'm a nerd. What? Yeah. I was a good slot machine race car driver. I'd change the gears. I'd change out the gears and change the trigger, the uh, resistance on the trigger to make it res- uh, respond quicker. Nerd alert. I don't think that's nerd, man. I did upgrades. That's just your, what your hobby was. I know, but I was, it was a nerd hobby. It's okay, man. I can Look, the difference between me and someone who's bullied being called a nerd is like, I own that shit. Fuck it. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So Mary's. That's done. all Mary's stuff. That's all of our. It's all of ours. That's all of our surveys, sir. Okay. So here we go. We once again we're going what Valentine's Day. I I added St. Patty's Day. Okay. But I'm thinking I can. That's an easy one to throw in. So I did that uh, Valentine's St. Patty's Easter. I threw in Cinco because we're in Arizona, but. Well, it's going to be in the same vein as these other ones. Right. right? But most people don't decorate for Cinco de Mayo. They just go out and have beers and tacos and get shit faced. Correct. But I would think the Latin X community. Yeah. A lot. Texas, New Mexico, Arizona. Would have a Cinco decorations. Yeah. Well, I mean, do they not decorate? I don't know. I don't don't know. No, they don't. They just have parties. Yeah. They just have parties. And they just drink excessively and have tequila and enchiladas. Shoot guns in the air. Sure. I had Mother's Day and Father's Day on here only because mother and father. Well, I think people yeah. like they will do something. Hey, let's come over yeah. for a barbecue. Dads and, and grads get balloons. is mine though. Because yeah. dads and grads, they do a good amount of displaying for like electronic They do. Stores. Yeah. Because, you know, that's like all yeah. the technology. So I buy them a computer or a laptop or a, right. obviously a computer and a laptop are the same fucking thing. So Whoa. anyway, I had that uh, Independence Day, 4th of July, obviously Halloween, Thanksgiving. I put Black Friday, but only because obviously we know it's a day after Thanksgiving. So let's do it. Valentine's Day, sir. The 14th of February, every year, go. When, when decoration should go up. My only comment about Valentine's Day is when I go into the grocery store, on the day on January 2nd and all the Christmas stuff is gone and all the Valentine's Day shit is up there and it's all red hearts in two aisles, I find that incredibly upsetting. And it shouldn't piss me off. It really shouldn't. It, it, why does that upset me? That's dumb. But it does. Like, Well, at least you're being honest about it. Oh, yeah, of course I'm being honest about it. Well, that's the point, though. It's like... Well, some of the problems that we have is we hold shit in and then it manifests in different ways. We're sharing it so that we don't have another outlash in another way. So, yeah, and, and and George Boy number three, Ralph, that's what he called that out, going into Target right after Christmas, and there's all the Valentine's Day shit. And I had that on my notes, is that that really, that's right up there with the Christmas stuff out even, you know, super, super early, like before Halloween. The same, I find that the same, I I know I'm jumping ahead 16 holidays, but um, that really bothers me in, you know, six weeks ahead of time, there's Valentine's Day shit. So when, so in your estimation, we're, we're solutions oriented. February 1st. I I agree. Right at there. Two weeks. You know, it's the 14th. It's always the 14th. Yeah. Every year. It doesn't move. It doesn't change. It is a date. It is a specific date. Yes. So two weeks before. Is the first. And it, yesterday on the golf course, Adrian had a really good point, And he, it was like he was sitting inside my head because I thought the same thing where he said it, on February 15th, everything's taken down and the St. Patty's Day stuff is, is put yeah, up. That's what I was going to talk about. And then Easter is usually right around St. Patty's Day or right after. So it's kind of half it's, St. Patty's. Well, it's the, it's the uh, Halloween Thanksgiving Correct. crossover. So it's always... Yeah. It's kind of like all those holidays that you're looking at right there are smushed into one to maximize capitalism. It, and it I, I, that's not the right word. Well, that's why, in my opinion, that's why Valentine's Day got the marketing that it got. Well, yeah. There was a gap. There was a huge gap between Christmas and really Mother's Memorial. Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Because Mother's guess. Day is yeah. the next holiday to buy something for someone. Well, Easter. Well, who, Easter's before Mother's Day. The only Day. thing you buy on Easter is a kid's basket. I know, but but there is a lot of commercialism. Egg dye, eggs, the toys. Don't you buy toys, the baskets? Yeah, the, but they're the, not the, 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 really the fuzzy ex- stuff. The but they're peeps, not super expensive. The candy, but it's just like it's like Halloween. I mean, it's, yeah, it's in the uh, same right. price, right? It's another holiday, though, but it's for a consumer. It's to 
to stockpile yes. on sugar and whatever, right? Mm, to give away candies sugar. and sweets, right? That's kind of what it's for. And kids, it's kind of distract kids and distract you. And you, you know, throw a hol- throw a religious holiday around it, and you're good to go. But go ahead, keep going on that point because that's a very it's just, excellent point. Yeah, it's an extended commercialism. Yeah, it's every holidays they're just back to back to back to yeah. back. Where as the 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 minute that one is over, the next one is there. Yeah. And it's even though it could be literally months away. And I and that's just it's fucked up. The biggest gap I see decoration wise would be like any fourth of July and Halloween, I guess. There's really yeah. nothing in between yeah. in that you don't really decorate for Labor Day. True. You party. Yeah. And to your point, Barbecue. it's another thing that's consumer because you're buying meat, you're buying, you know what I mean? You're Beer. buying drink, you're buying, yeah, you're, you're buying all the, the lake, things for whatever. the parties. Yeah. Right. End so of summer buying, shit. Yeah. And yeah. It's, and you use that as a end of summer. Blow out. Right. Exactly. Or beginning of our summer. Yes. Or not even yet. It's our still fucking Less digits. than summer. Sons of bitches. So yeah, I'm with you. So I also agree the first and I hate, I hate the fact that Valentine's Day is a thing. And it has nothing to do with me not caring about Megzi because I care about her and I show her without needing to have someone tell me that I need to show her. Yeah. And not the way the way they want me to with hearts and flowers. Maybe I want to show her with a fucking hug or a back rub to your point. Yeah, Mary's point. To Mary's point. Yeah. A massage, just a gentle... Starting breakfast early, right before she gets up. Let me get you your coffee. Yeah, whatever. I got. I made you coffee last night. I made. Yeah. I made coffee ready for you so you can get up early in the morning because I know you have a really rough day ahead yeah, of you. Right. Whatever. Just anything thoughtful. So yeah, I hate that they want to do it in the commercial way. It's with stuff. It's material, of course. Makes sense though. It's it's what it is, right? We talk about sec. We're going to do Century of Cell Part Two. I think coming up soon. Oh yeah, here. I forgot about that. And um. You know, to that point, we've become consumers. They have yep. programmed us to become consumers. And we, you and I, as very conscious of the same fact, can't even not be consumers. Yeah, we're yeah, we're part of the problem. We are part of the problem and know it. And yeah. still do because we're it's inescapable. It feels inescapable. I bought like three things on Amazon today. Yeah. I I bought a handful of things on Amazon this week. And I I generally didn't, but I bought, um, here's, here's a consumerism thing. I don't know. Here's tangent, tangent. Here we go. Stop it. Dive. Yeah, dive. So, um, I got, uh, I've heard of those thermocell things. They have like a liquid in it, like a personal mosquito repellent. Oh yeah. 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 Well, they have a thing called the radius and it's battery charged and it's normally like 50 bucks or something, but it was on sale for like 43 or something or 60 bucks. It was on sale for 40 something. I ended up buying it on Amazon and now I'm like, now I just spent like 70 bucks on Amazon for something I hope to use, but I have no fucking idea if it's going to work. Well, you can always send it back. I know, but you know, we're consumers. Man. Yeah, but the, the good thing is Amazon has a very good return policy. Sure. I'm just saying so, just that I'm in the mindset of buying, like I had to buy something for the backyard. I need something for the mosquitoes. I just like something about that. That it was thermocell because someone else talked about thermocell. You know, do you have a mosquito problem in the back? We have bugs. You know, just like anything else. I'm just very susceptible to bug bites. I blow up. Like, you know, some people are very in. They're very sensitive to yeah, mosquito bites. Right. I tend to to get them. You know, twenty or thirty of them. Just like Jesus, dude. It's just any you have sweet blood, bro. Hey, bro. Did you remember my blood sugar level? Like, Seven million. It was syrup, <laughs> <laughs> maple. maple. Are you Canadian, eh? They were, yeah. They fucking hammered. They tried to hammer a tap in me at, oh. on, in the waiting room. <laughs> in my femur, it's like bam. Let's <laughs> tap that shit in there. But uh, okay, so we got through Valentine's Day. Bullshit to be forced to love someone, just on its face. Again, it seems like it's that was the obligation. Last it was, and it was added in. As a gap between Christmas, because there's a huge gap between Christmas and Easter. It's my Well, opinion. Mary said it. It's a hallmark, quote unquote, holiday. Right. It they is. They made it, it up created... to sell shit. Yeah. Just like, you know, freedom torches. Smoke your freedom, freedom torches, torches, ladies. Ow, boy. Ow. Okay, honey, baby. Ow, ow, me. Ow. He turned ow, to me and said, Marge. Helen, smoking hasn't affected me one bit. Marge, you got to get rid of Alma. <laughs> He's a bad influence. Ow, ow, me. 
was okay. pretty good. So uh, St. Paddy's Day we kind of talked about, but I think week before. The weekend, a full week. Yes, I the agree. Week, Seven two days, weekends before. So March Two weekends 10th. before. Yeah, like the Friday, you know, like the Saturday, Sunday, and then a week, and then Saturday, Sunday, and then whatever the 17th is. So if, but if you're not Irish, fuck don't that. fuck it. March 1st, because it's another fixed okay. holiday. It's All the right. 17th, right? Okay. 17 days. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Technically, that's 16 days. So that is a fucking callback. Not if you start on the first, it's still 17 days. Yes. Okay. 17 days. 17 days? Holy shit. 17 that days? Is... We're going to party for 17 days? Well, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to make it 17 We're gonna hours. We're going to get a keg. <laughs> We're going to get some pastrami. We're going to be passed out in 17 hours, man. <laughs> Fuck, that was awesome, bro. That was beautiful. <laughs> Who would have thought that we would have known that? <laughs> oh, shit. We're like the most amazing people ever. Well, let's not be, All you right. know, why be modest when you're good? Easter. Fuck Easter. Oh, sorry. Well, Lent. Fuck Lent. I know. Is that when you put it out? And then, No, that's 40 days. I know. Is that right? No. Ash Wednesday is right before, right? That's no, 40 that's days. Lent. That's Ash Wednesday. Palm Sunday um, is a seven days before. Okay, let's go with Palm Sunday. Seven days. Easter? Yes. I'll go two weeks again. I'll just go two weeks because we're, I mean, if we're going to do it for Valentine's Day, Easter's a big one. And it probably takes a little more time to get probably? coordinated. Yeah, probably because all the remember you're making a big tur you're making some food like ham or something over there. Yes. And then you got a lot of people coming over, so you gotta like make a lot of pre preparations. Give it two weeks prep. All right. Two weeks. Are we good with that? Two weeks? And that's a moving one. So yes. we know it's gonna be just fourteen days before and we just have to make what it. What day fit. is it next year? I didn't uh on this one, it Hello. says it's April 4th. Hello to the world. See, if it was in April, you had four days again already? No. Oh, yeah. And by the way, um, uh, February 14th, uh, or for Valentine's Day, you basically just set a match. You just light a match in the card section of the Valentine's Day cards the day after to get rid of them. Just, Can I light a match seven days before? No. Please? I... First of all, I don't condone any kind of arson. So no, yeah, no, I agree. I should not have said that. So I redact my statement about burning. It's been it down. redacted. Cool. Put it down. Burn it down. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so April fourth is uh, Easter. Okay. So we did Mother's Day, kind of, but that's one of those. Just take your mother out. Be nice to your mother. Pay attention to your mother. Where are you taking your mother for Mother's Day? I don't think she's. Well, we'll see what she's on lockdown currently, sir. Oh. Due to the CDC. CDC. Quarantined. Yeah. So, I don't Thanks. know. Uh, maybe I'll make some enchiladas and deliver them. Ooh, that's smart. But, you know, obviously, this is you're talking seven months away, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. So. We don't know what's happening. If she's out of mm -hmm. lockdown, I don't know, wherever she wants. Okay. she probably just want to go to Philly Bees. And she, she'd be oh. super happy with some nachos, bro. Hashtag nachos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like Philly micros, Bees. bro. Nachos, bro. I think it'd be great. Okay, so Memorial Day, May thirty first. I am a Memorial Day. I like. I think that's obviously kickoff of summer. It was supposed to be the Indy five hundred, right? Yeah, that weekend and, and the, the Coca Cola six hundred and I the believe. Monaco Grand Prix and the Coke six hundred. Yes, sir. The big three, three races. Big yes, three sir. Races. So, um, kickoffs of summer. I'd say two weeks before Memorial Day, you can put out Fourth of July stuff. Because Memorial Day and Fourth of July to me are like one in one a. It's all summertime, Merca. They're a month apart, and fuck it. At that point, you're fucking displaying anything with a flag on it and throwing coolers out there. Okay. What are your thoughts? I'm not gonna. I don't care. I need you. I need you on a hill, bro. You don't need to die on it. I just need you on one of them. I don't. I don't like hills. All right. Well, what, just tell me. Tell I like me the flatlands. Talk to me, goose. <laughs> Where'd who go? Where'd who go? So you don't care about Memorial I, I Day? I think that's fine. I'm not going right. to argue. I think that I'm completely in agreement that your idea about 531 to 74 have flags is great. Totally cool. All right. I like that also. Thank you. Thank you for... You're welcome. That's five weeks. Let's fucking just do it. Yeah. Five weeks. I am so glad right. to support Thank you for you. the But then senator. it needs to go down. You need to remove some of the flags after. But, but then you have right, nothing right. in August... And then right, red, white, and blues. Labor Day is going to be red, white, and bluish too. Right, just because America. Right, because you have the whole summer. Because because Georgia boy one says America. Because America. That's exactly yeah. right. So America, um, fuck yeah! All right, Halloween. When does Halloween start? Halloween. For you, sir? 
Halloween is October 31st every year? I 30th? believe it is the 31st, 31st this year. Yes. <laughs> sure. October 31st. Uh, I think it's every year, October 31st. Because it's a day, not a date. It's a date. It's a date, not a day. Correct. My apologies. It's a fixed date. September 15th, the morning... After your fucking birthday? The day after my... The morning after my birthday, I walked out of the house with my dogs... Got it. ...just after sunrise. So it was 5.25 in the morning to walk the dogs because it's still warm out in Arizona. The neighbor two doors down had a skeleton with, with a black robe on it, you know, three feet in length hanging from their six foot palm tree in their front yard. September 15th, six weeks before Halloween. It was going to be 107 that day. Unacceptable. Utterly, completely not approved. Unacceptable. Agreed, sir. That's just not. Unacceptable. And I thought, okay, wait a minute. I'm biased because we live in the fucking desert. So, it, it if doesn't we, help. If we lived in Michigan or Minnesota and the weather was cooler, it's September 15th, it still could be 80 or it could snow. You know what I mean? So it's, true. It, it, it's different in different places. So I'm trying to be, okay, if we were in Nebraska, do people put Halloween shit up right. September 15th? I'm sure some people do. Some people love Halloween. And it, it's probably one of my favorite holidays because they're skeletons and it reminds me of a heavy metal concert. So that's great. But... Nine fifteen seems idiotic. Well, if I may counter that though, nine twenty one is fall solstice, correct? It's the end of twenty one, twenty two. Yeah, right. I don't. For which yeah, one, I one think twenty one's the last day, and then it starts the twenty second. Sure. I forget. Whatever. Yeah, the equinox. Blah blah blah. But Halloween's one of those fall holidays, like like Thanksgiving it is. is. So yeah. it's almost like that date almost triggers that reaction. But this was nine fifteen. Right, it's a week before the, it's it's a mere week before the fall solstice. I understood. I, I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just giving you giving everyone kind of the context broad picture I perspective. Understand. And I agree with you. Um, I it shouldn't be that early. Last weekend in September should be the first time to put stuff up. I I'm gonna work uh, just so everyone knows. I'm working on weekends because. That tends to be when people have the most free time. I'm just guessing most people work at nine to five. You know, yeah, of course. Friday, nine to five. Most people, not everyone has that luxury and it's different. But if you do the last weekend of the month of September, whatever that falls, that's when you can start putting the decorations up. How would you feel about that? I think that's too, too early. I would say the first weekend in October. I for I, I can move to that. With I, you and I with can come the across exception the of the crazy people that decorate their entire front of their house right. and their yard. Like they put the, right. the, the well, tombstones I'm, I'm and the, in that those people time. start like in July. Right. But and that's I, and all, I, I get that because they're, they're thing. nuts and they have like, they have music that's coordinated like with Christmas the light show. Light stuff. Like, and that's, yeah. that's totally different. And there's a whole level of crazy involved with that shit. Crazy. I would say, I would call it uh passion or just uh energy for it. Lunacy. Cause I don't think it's lunacy. Okay. I think it's cool because like, some people didn't have that with their childhood. Like, say, for example, th- uh, Halloween's a good example where they get to scare kids. Yeah. And, like, they don't get to do that or they never had that in their life and they can br- give that to somebody in their community. Yeah. Like, yeah, they might be crazy about it, but, like, I, I kind of am cool with the crazy. Yeah, my buddy Jodo does it because yeah. he likes to – because his kids – he involves the kids and right. the kids – I don't want to judge right. that kind of activity because I do certifiably crazy things or – Arguably crazy, crazy things. So anyway, I was just saying. Just, just yeah. Crazy Halloween makers. So so first weekend in October, I, yes. I, we've compromised. Yeah. Totally cool with that. So that could be as late as the 8th. I believe so. I guess. Right? So I had to move song. it up. I'd say the 5th. Right. But the uh, first weekend. Yes. Start. Oh, well, you could do 1st of October if you want. We could do it that way. Am see, I, I think the first is too early. Okay. So let's do first weekend. Yes. Sometimes it may on the, be on the first, though. I understand. Just with that um, knowledge that it could be between the... Christopher's going into a trance. He just rolled his I'm eyes. I'm meditating. His, head. his eyes are closed and his, his brain hurts. Yeah, it does. Does it? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, um, all right. So we got Halloween. Now, when does shit go down? When you got to put take that shit down? Shit's always going down, bro. Shit's always going down. Uh, November 1st. What are you talking about? Okay. All Souls Day, Mother Trucker. Next day. November 1st. I'll give it first weekend. Of the, November. The weekend after. It has to be in November. Okay. But the weekend after. Because people are working and they don't have time. Yeah. Yeah. But, but by Sunday evening of the next weekend... After Halloween, it should be down. When do you have to throw away your moldy jack-o'-lanterns? Uh, the second they get soft. The second they get moldy there's some green stuff yeah. inside, oh, yeah. the second they become... You have to throw those out sometimes before Halloween because they get moldy too well, quickly. It's, yeah. I'm just saying. But, yeah. And then if you don't, there's kids going to throw them in the street. That too. Because I've that. done that. Yeah. <laughs> like not last stuff year, I've but done. you know. Stuff I've done on Halloween, bro. Bro. I don't even know. Check marks, devil night. Oh, I love this Lucifer night. He's great. <laughs> Lucifer is my favorite. Evening of Lucifer. He's Look, you know what's great? What we do on devil night? We all stay inside. No, Not a single car burn because they burns 364 other days of <laughs> We don't need a special day. Yes, we don't need a special day. It's like our Valentine's Day. Devil's Eve. Devil's Night is our Valentine's Day. We do not observe, observe it. So cars like they, burn. Yes, they say, "Oh, welcome to Devil's Night. You want to burn car and flip?" And we're like, "No, we do this all the time. You don't need to tell me when to do it's, this. It's Devil's Year." Yes, I do it all the time. Therefore, I do not need holiday telling me when to flip car and burn. I do all the time, like West Virginia. Mountain Mama. They burning the home. couches. Uh, so does road. Checkmark observe Valentine's Day every day or just one day with all his lady friends? Checkmark. He's not so smooth with the ladies. It's stop it. He can, he must pay for it. He saves up out a year for Valentine's Day. So he, Valentine's Day. So he gets a hooker on Valentine's Day? You call her a hooker. I call old profession. Uh, oldest profession in the world. Uh, other, other than Taylor, yes. Taylor. Yes. Taylor. Not Taylor Swift, but someone Not that measures Swift. your pants. Not Dane either. Oh, neither tell of the it Taylors. to my heart. Tell me I'm the only ones. <laughs> uh, no, he gets. Uh, she he is gets, that the number one hit in Czech Republic right now? Taylor Dane. No, that was last week. Last week. You don't know. Now Debbie Gibson. Oh, uh, electric use. Oh, such a jam. And Tiffany's. I think we're alone. I now. think we're alone now. I think we're alone. It doesn't seem to be anyone around. Anyone's around. It's crazy like that. That's because they're all burning cars. They are burning cars. And that's the thing. Checkmark, he, he confided in me. He told me, he's like, we do that shit 364, bro. 24-7, 364. I don't need a devil's night. Fuck that. I'm going to stay in. Okay. Pop some popcorn. Yeah. Jiffy pop. Mm. Check. Checks love two things. They like their own kind of mix. And Jiffy Pop. Do they love Czech mix? That's what I'm saying. That's they love their own <laughs> kind of mix. <laughs> Czech <Czech's> mix. <laughs> and Jiffy Pop. Those mm, are the two. Delicious. Look, call me out. Hey, crack research team, tell me I'm wrong. The Czech mix is huge in the Czech Republic. Czech mix is like, you name it for me, I eat all day. All day, every all day. All days with the sodium and everything. Oh, delicious. So, okay, so now we got through Halloween. You're saying, I say first weekend after Halloween. Okay. I, I give them the grace because people are busy. That's fine. Be work. Thanksgiving stuff. What are your thoughts on that? I say you could put it up the day you take down the Halloween stuff. So if you do it November 1st, that's fine. If you do it the first weekend in November, that's fine too. Not a big fan of decorating the house for Halloween other than inside. Like Halloween? Or, I'm sorry, for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. It's not like an outside decoration. It's not like... Uh, uh, Christmas is obviously the biggest one. You don't have like fake turkeys and, and shit for your yard? No. <laughs> I would think that Christmas and Halloween would be the two biggest expressions of you. Of, of one course. Yeah. Stuff, right? yeah, yeah. Even 4th of July. Yeah. You just hang your flag, but you're kind of just showing your pride. Um, So with Thanksgiving, I would say same thing. First, like when you take down, but I don't even think you should have anything up. For Thanksgiving. Yeah. You just have a tablecloth. And a fucking turkey centerpiece. But don't they have like those, like those corn things? They're yep. shaped. Cornucopias? Yes. The Capricorns, the cornucopias. Not candy corn, but no. different. I got it. I know exactly what you're talking about. That thing. You like candy corn? 
I fucking hate candy corn. I saw a meme yesterday that says, this is how you eat candy corn. Open the bag, throw it in the trash, <laughs> make a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah. I saw something that was, some that was candy shit. corn pizza. Oh, God. Bro. No. It was not appetizing looking at all. Um, Why? I don't know. Because people have nothing better to do with Does but- it melt? It does, because you, you just got to heat it. Shit. Candy corn, it's pliable. It's t- some gelatinous material. So it's like a sugar pizza? I, I'm i going to have to look this up while we're talking, but now that you're eating, now I, I, mean, have to, I have to fill all this dead space now that you're That eating, just seems sir. very, like, I agree there's some 100%. things you shouldn't put on a pizza, and that's one well, of them. I'm not saying you put it on a pizza like a regular pizza with candy corn on it. It's like a specific dessert. Pizza. Oh, I thought it was actually no, no, not like an extra topping. But even then, it's just disgusting on its own. Because candy corn pizza is look at this ugly, ugly, ugly shit. Look at that. this, it's disgusting, bro. I my blood sugar just raised three hundred. Like points why though? I mean, let's say you love candy corn. Let, let's <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? I love candy. Isn't there like? But why? Yeah, somebody hi. has to love it because they keep making that shit. I like Charleston shoes. Like, are you fucking serious with me with this? You're coming to me with, oh my God. Candy corn is just so easy to make and so cheap to make. It's sugar dye and in, in, in a, I, I in a design. That. What I'm saying is it's easily marketable. It fills bowls and it's visually appealing. So I don't think anyone ever bought candy corn for its deliciousness <laughs> content. It's flavorful content. I believe it's much more marketed, to your point, kind of like what the heart is to Valentine's Day. That looks disgusting. Yeah, it makes me want to yak. And don't look back. Yeah. That's sick and wrong, dude. Yeah, there's something wrong with that. And that sounds judgy, but I'm judging at this point. I mean, it's wrong. Is that Al fucking Roker? Should we do a a candy corn corn pizza pizza? challenge? No, thank you. Next. You sure? I'm done. Next. I said good day. Wow. Okay, then. <laughs> really taking it seriously. So now we're down to um, Thanksgiving we covered. I mean, you just take it down that weekend because Thanksgiving, you know, Thursday. By the end of that weekend, shit should be down, right? By after Black Friday. Yeah. Because it's always a Thursday. It is? Well, you know. Get out of his city. But I'm saying, so Sunday, by that Sunday, should be done, you fucker. <laughs> Why are you being a dick to me, man? <laughs> you're you're holding my elevatedness against me, and I don't appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. I'm no, s- I'm sorry. You should be sorry. Okay, I, I take advantage of me so, so in such ways. Uh, you love it. I do actually. Shut up, fucker. I love being taken advantage of in this way, sir. <laughs> so Christmas. <laughs> All right. So when this is the big one, and we're, we got to end on this, man. This is a big one. When can you put them up on your house? When can you display Christmas in and outside your house? Black Friday. Okay. That weekend. That day. Okay. Yeah, but that day. Starting, starting that day. Starting Thanksgiving. The day after Thanksgiving morning. Yep. So Black Friday and on, you can start. Yes. Excellent. I agree 100%. Now, I agree that's for... In and outside your personal homes. Yes. Got it. When do they need to be taken down by? That's interesting because my family had a weird tradition. And no, I've never, ever, ever heard it anywhere else except for my crazy parents. Okay. January (laughs) 6th. The arc, all of our Christmas shit stayed up until January 6th, the Feast of the Epiphany. Is that the 12th day of Christmas always or something? Or I have no th- idea about the 12 days of Christmas. The Feast of the Epiphany, which is when the three wise men, Jim, Jack, and Jose, showed up at the manger and gave the gifts to Jesus. Interesting that we... So the 6th of January, of my mother and I... Today. Yeah. <laughs> my, that's when um, my mom and I always took the Christmas decorations down. The, that's so. That's when the wise men got there. Yes, that's when. The, that's when that's it's one celebrated. Hell of a commute, bro. It's, yeah, right. They don't have Uber. They don't have Lyft. They didn't have anything. They yeah. didn't have the wheel. Did they have the wheel back then? I don't know. Wheel. The wheel. 
<laughs> cool clip. Uh, oh, shit. I'm on the latest model. So I don't think it was actually, they arrived January 6th, but that's the thesis. I'm saying that's, that's when, when that day is celebrated. I like it. My Mine would be the weekend after, the the first weekend in January, after New Year's. I'm, I'm good with New okay. Year's, but the first weekend gives you that weekend again a cushion because I being think a hardworking American, American, yeah, or universal person or global person. Because do you think it's important to have it up on New Year's Eve if you're going to have a little party? I think the lights are fun. I agree. So it's still festive. It's still a festive vibe. It's yeah. a week apart. Like what? What? What harm Just leave can it we up. do? And a lot of people have a lot of those days off. Yeah. Or they work half days yeah. or whatever. Like sit outside and appreciate it. Sit outside every night and watch like the stuff you put up. That's fucking awesome. I, I agree. Amen to that. I love, I, I think it's so awesome and I'm not as moved by that stuff, but I think it's awesome. I really think it's great that people do it. It's just, you know me, I just don't have that general kind of feel about things. You don't like lights? I like only camera in action. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I like crackle and pop, but that snap motherfucker, he, he did me wrong one day. He's the worst of the It's always the three first dudes. of the three I don't like. What? I don't like, I don't like, I don't like snap. I don't like lights. So you don't like Jim, but you like Jack and Jose. Sure. I'm not a huge Jim Beam guy. No, definitely not. Jose's my friend. Yeah. Until I let him out. Hey. Hey, everybody. Get the fuck out. Fuckers. So Christmas for me, once again, we agreed on up until up uh, Black Friday weekend, Black Friday and later, and down... You wanted the six, which I love that well, you had a tradition. I don't necessarily. No, I love that. Though. I don't. I don't. Do you think we should have a national takedown Christmas? No, you can go past it because it's not like a mandatory thing. You don't go to jail if you have it up after. But would it be nice to have a recognized takedown your fucking decoration day? Yeah. And that goes to your point about people that still have their Christmas lights on their house in February. Yeah. So, and I know some people the day after Christmas are like, okay. I'm, I'm I, I, they've already been up for more than a month in some based upon the date of when Thanksgiving is they've already been up for four and a half five weeks whatever it's been so I, I'm ready for this shit to come down yeah. so the day after Christmas they're slowly coming down and sometimes it only takes a day to take all your crap down so good point. I get that I under, I, I kind of like him up on New Year's Eve and, but some people are like nope December 26th out of here so I, I see both arguments. I can see it. I was just wondering if there's what I'm what I'm asking more generally is: Do you think they should have like a like a national take your shit down, take your decorations down day? Not like it has to be observed in the way in any legal capacity, but like there's a national hot dog day and there's a national whatever. Like, should the sixth of January just be hey everybody take down your lights day just to have like a PR thing, almost like a PSA to get people to. Start putting their shit down. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, I, I, well, I don't feel like there's any harm in just saying, hey, take your shit down. I think we hey. already have too many of those days. Okay. Hey, it's today's National Dr. Pepper Day. Like, God damn it. Another, hey, it's National they Chocolate do. Chip Cookie Day. It is, and they've got hey, like eight per day now. Yeah, it's National Sugar Cookie Day. It's National, national Recognize What Day It Is Day. Yes. It's, what? It's National Special Agent Orange Day. <laughs> it's National Cough Drop Day. Special like, what the... F you know what I mean? Like, oh, my God. And, and like you said, every single day, it's eight different days. It's it National is. Pine Tree Day. What the fuck? And we only need one day, sir. We need Donut Day. That's yes. it. Donut motherfucking day. What are, you, what are you Twittering, sir? I'm not Twittering to anyone, but I'm preparing because I know we're shutting this down and I've got work to do. You have to work? We have to reach out to our tweets. We do? I would call them twits, but that would be mean. <laughs> I'm a so I, I do have one final oh, yes. thought. Oh, I love final thoughts. Is this like a Jerry Springer final thought? No. Because he does it. Uh, I, I, a friend of mine told me about a t-shirt that she saw, which I think encapsulates this subject topic very well. It had a picture of a jack-o'-lantern and a turkey and a Christmas tree all smushed together. And it said, happy hallow givings mess. <laughs> and I think that that's basically true because the, you know, the, the Halloween and, and Thanksgiving and Christmas, 
they're all a month apart, right? right. Okay, give or take a couple of days. No, just bear with me. They're a month apart. But they're, it's almost like they're smooshed together because the second Halloween's over, boom, you put up new decorations. And the right. second this one's over, boom, you do this. And we're just... I know why. It, it goes to the culture that we live in and how, oh my God, I can't even breathe. You can, can I have a goddamn day to get the Reese's peanut butter cups out of my system before I start eating the Thanksgiving shit? Like, Jesus Christ. I'm so, guessing that was done, though, for purpose, to get you through the winter at some point. You think? Yeah. Something to look forward to? Yeah, so... It was tough. So pagan, you have your pagan times, right? Yeah. Obviously, a lot of holidays are around pagan, built from pagan beginnings, right? Yes. Pagan foundations. Yes, of course. Well, there were celebrations throughout the year, and when religion was in, introduced, it was almost like, what, what's our, like, pagans went, what's our purpose? Because they didn't believe in that. Of course. But it was the current, then currency came, and currency then became the purpose, right? You work to make money so you can buy things for your family so that you can work more so you can buy more things for your family. The cycle of doom. And it's that cycle. And I think in this case, not necessarily consumery, but if you're focused on this, this, and this, that's the shittiest part of the year pretty much, or a really shitty part of the year in general speaking. Like things are falling off of trees and things are dying. You know what I mean? There's a lot of that. So you have to focus on getting through those that how that feels i think do you think that that leads to you know people what is it called the holiday blues you think, think that so. that's what what you're talking about well i think the holiday blues is something a little different it's more like they're blue because of the holidays exist like people get sad around that time right because then they have they're forced to reflect on the family they don't have or the family they don't want to be around well yeah and their but drinking I mean, like, increases well, that's what i'm saying is that they're not with the family they would want probably not probably. That's just. Let me backtrack. Well, perhaps they may they may not be very close with their family, as close as they'd like to be, or they wish their family was slightly different than they are. Don't we all wish that? Some of us. Some people have very healthy. Oh yeah, families. I know I'm, one person. I'm not familiar with those, but <laughs> I mean, I know Megzi's got a very healthy family, which is awesome. But um, can they adopt us? <laughs> you've already been adopted. So. Yay! By by younger people apparently. Oh yes, I forgot. Um, Stephen Felicia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a, they're they're taking they're very good, good parents. Care of you. Yeah, yes. So uh, I hope they're putting no, away money. But for But obviously, my it's a timing thing because obviously Thanksgiving should have actually been around that time. I would think. So it just happens to be that time. Hallow's Eve. I don't know what the date significance is, of it being October thirty first. Obviously, I know December twenty fifth being Christmas, but I don't know if they smushed them together or if they just took advantage of them being close. To smush them together. Yeah. Right? It's kind of like a chicken and egg thing. But I think a lot of the holidays, a lot of the things are to distract us from life. Here's one of the saddest things I heard, and I wanted to bring it up on the next Not Conscious, but um, I work with a person who has arguably 145 IQ, if not if not higher. I believe it might even be a little higher than that. And I heard something on a podcast about the way um, pesticides are moving to the poles and there's a, there's a way it's done. It's basically like if you heat it, it turns into a gas, then it moves and then it crystallizes as it cools and then lowers. So then it, as it heats up every time it moves to the poles. So the poles have this high concentration of certain pesticides and like chemicals in the body. So all the, in the ice. Yeah. All in the food, everything. So now all the people eating those are dying of cancers, but their hearts are perfect condition. They're getting stuff in their chemical system. They never even sprayed on anything because they're not, that's not their world. Their world has nothing to do with pesticides in the real world. Oh. And they're affected by what we did. But the, and the Western world. The Western world. Just pesticides, consumer, right? Making stuff bigger, faster, and, you know, more. GMOs, GMO, all that I stuff, I was just right? going to say GMOs. DDT yeah. and all the pesticides, all this stuff. Anyway, it was... Look, it was a Joe Rogan, okay? And it was with an eco-toxicologist, which this guy was just like, holy, f he just blows your mind, right? So I sit there and I look at the guy with 145 plus IQ and I go, have you heard about this thing? Because like, he obviously could grasp the concept with 145 IQ. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, this is what's happened. This is how it got there. Like, because people go, that's bullshit. It's like, no, that makes, that's it how makes it, sense. It, it, 
totally makes sense. It can never get away from the poles because it never gets hot enough to turn back into a gas. Correct. Like, that makes absolute sense that that's how it would migrate, I guess. I don't know another way to yeah, say that's, it. Yeah, that's right. Um, to the poles. So the person looks at me and goes, I don't want to be thinking about any of that kind of stuff. And my heart wow. sank, bro. Yeah. I know this is a sad part of this ending of this because it's like, is this, what is it's this? not, but. Hey, man, happy birthday, Jesus, man. Happy birthday, Jesus, bro. And he goes, I don't <laughs> want to be thinking about that. And I'm like, you're the people who should be thinking about that. Yeah, the smart people. Like, you, you're solutions oriented. You are analytical. You're outside of the box. You, you have all these cognitive skills. And you don't want to be distracted with that because we're talking about holidays, right? Being distracted. That's why I'm okay. About this now, now I understand the connection. The connection is like, we allow ourselves to be distracted on purpose. And sometimes I wish that I could do that. But like you and I have seen the toothpaste come out of the tube. We've seen the man behind the curtain. Yep. We see the strings attached. I can't unsee it. And now that I saw like part of it, I want to see all of it. And I don't understand how someone, how people, this is why we're in trouble and as a whole, I know that God this is so doom and gloom and nihilistic. You hit the dive button, bro. <laughs> going down, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> going down. Um, no, it's just, it's, it, it disappoints me that I can't even have conversation with people with, I consider equal IQ or uh, intelligence Very high level, IQ. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Just general, because I, you know, it's not about me and my stuff. I'm just saying, but the curiosity that you and I share. Yeah. That no one else, like, I don't want to know Dude, about but that stuff. we're not. But things don't get fixed when people don't want to know about that stuff. Well, I understand. And your point is incredibly valid, man. You know that, right? Yeah. You're absolutely right. It's sad. It, yes, it is. And I wish more people would consciously try to think. I watch some stuff. I there's just so many things I want to talk about, and I I I feel like we're in such like kind of scary waters to bring up certain things because they will be perceived as an ist. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. There's a label for everything, right? Yeah, there's like a label for everything. So anyway, so this is a holiday. But so Merry Christmas. I think Merry Happy Birthday, Jesus. Yay Thanksgiving. Yay. Um, what does suck though? Mm-hmm. Rob, I have to talk about Rob, gentleman with whom I work. His birthday is Christmas Eve, bro. Oh, dude. That's got to be. Is it that? Is that the worst day or is the day after Christmas the worst day, do you think? Wouldn't Christmas Day be the worst day? No. Well, I mean, okay. Any other day other than I mean, you Jesus' share, holiday? You Jesus. share a birthday with Jesus, dude. Yeah. That's I've, rough. I've got two nieces that share birthday seven years apart. Well, that's not as bad as Christmas, right? I mean, yeah. I'm, Can you imagine you're putting a tree up on your birthday? <laughs> competing with Jesus. Right. Oh, you know, that's what would be funny. It's like, oh my God, my parents celebrate my birthday by putting up a big tree yeah, but, and they put up ornaments and lights. Ah, uh, your birthday's on Christmas. <laughs> like, it's just fucking shatters. Like, kid for eight years had no clue that, like, that's why they did it. Yeah. Imagine that would have been like Santa comes awesome. down the chimney on my yeah. birthday. Isn't that oh great? My, isn't that great on my birthday? Every time, every time my birthday, oh Santa my comes down, I, I leave milk and cookies and he leaves them back for me because it's my birthday. Oh my God. <laughs> and they're like, uh, oh, poop. Uh, how are we going to uh, break this Timmy? to her? Look, uh, Timmy. Yeah, excuse me. Um, Tim, Tim. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we must Hang leave. Hang on. You need to tell oh. the Megzi Oh, the Megzi statement. Story. Okay. Mr. Gibson talked about Lowe's and being disgusted. Yes. We all went out on the 26th of September, which was a Saturday. We went to Ocean 44 to have our commune birthday. Shrimps of doom. The four birthday. Oh, my God. The baby arm shrimp. Baby arm shrimp. Fucking delicious. Just the whole. Boom. Just the whole thump. $9 shrimps, bitches. $9 shrimp baby arms. Um, The lobster rolls, dude. Oh, my God. Everything was amazing. Everything was amazing. The worst I, thing was my clams with linguine. That was the worst thing. It ap- looked the, the appetizers were better. It looked nicer. Yeah. It looked so nice. The beignets, man, with the yeah, chocolate lingu- sauce. Uh, all of it. And they were, all the desserts were free. So Ocean 44, thank you. That yeah, was that awesome. was, they rocked You guys it. hooked us amazing up. Amazing service. Uh, peanut butter cake. 
peanut butter pie is what it was, I think. The beignets it was like a and the vanilla butter, cake. Beignets, the vanilla like, cake. Which is like butter cake. And they had four cookies. Yeah, also, I didn't even try those. We didn't even get to them, man. I yeah. think they're still sitting somewhere. So They're probably with my Eddie Van Halen picks. They might be. Yeah. So, Megzi and I, Megzi goes, hey, Mark, you're a curmudgeon that doesn't like to go anywhere, but would you like to go out somewhere with me? And I said, no. I mean, sure. Maxie. So, this is before this is before Ocean's 44. After. The next day. Oh, okay. Sunday. Sunday. Sorry. Sunday the 27th. Yeah. Wake up. I think we had breakfast here. September. No, we did. We had we had brunch with her parents. Yes. So on her birthday. It was actually her actual birthday, yeah. the 27th. So happy birthday, Megzi. Yay. Um, so we all ate. And then she, on the way home, she's like, would you mind stopping by Lowe's? We're going to go to the garden center and pick up some plants. And I'm like, I'm down for well, plants. That's nice. I'm totally cool. I, I'm all for people doing what they want to do. I'm not a plant person. I got a black thumb, but that's cool. So we get there. The Danny C. Gibson comes up. Boom, Christmas everywhere. We walk into the garden center. And it's and like then, 103 degrees. Yeah, it's fucking, we're schwitzing like schwitzing. crazy. Walk in <laughs> and she goes, Merry Christmas. I'm like, what are you talking about? I turn my head and just. It's like Santa Claus threw up. So then this weekend. So that was the 27th of September. That is three whole months. Three months. <laughs> three months minus years. Um, that is a full quarter of the year, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you know that, but three twelfths of is one quarter. Whoa, that's deep, bro. That's totally You're deep. good at fractions. The math. Yeah. Wow. So one quarter of the year, Christmas shit was out. But wait, there's more. Uh-oh. I asked Megzi. Megzi went back to the garden center at the Home Depot this time. And I said, Megzi, you're an awesome person and I love you. Can you please ask, when do they put out the Christmas? Just ask, hey, when do you guys put this stuff out? Not in a judgy way, just in general. Like, I don't know if you have the, the chutzpah, the courage to Yeah, do she it. does. She does because she's so she loves me. She's so kind to me, but generally she's not that kind of person to be like to be pushy like that or ask confrontational. Questions. Yeah, in any way, that's just it's one question though. She finds out a week after Labor Day, bro. A week at when one fuck was Labor Day nine seven was well, some fucking ridiculous whatever it was. Yeah, a week after. To your point, Dan, that's the fourteenth, fifteenth. What the fuck, man. Yeah. That is why. Uh, that is ridiculous. Why? I don't know. Because, okay, why do they do it? Let's be objective. Is that because people buy stuff that early? Hey, let's go look at the Christmas shit. We need Christmas lights. We need extension cords. We need bulb. What do you call them? Uh, LEDs and all that shit. Yeah. Strings and lights and all that. Yeah. Um, Ornaments. Balls. I, I was... In doing very deep research on this particular topic, so yeah, could, so I would not be out of my breath. Thorough, bro. Thorough. It was like the first thing I beer googled, the first one. So it's very thorough. Yeah, it said something about put out your decoration, put out your displays as early as possible. It makes sense because if I were a consumer, I'd be like, well, the longer it's out there, the more possibility of people walking by buying it. Secondly, it's September thirteenth, and I bought something in September thirteenth. In December 18th, a week before Christmas, when I start really thinking about it and I go, did I get that or didn't I get that? I might buy it again. Cor absolutely correct. And that's and fucking I, terrible. And I think that's a big portion is a lot of rebuy stuff. Yeah. I think. I could be way off. I totally, off, totally agree. But I think it's I a rebuy stuff. I thought that too. Stuff. Like, I f gift wrap. Oh, and then next next year you forget and then you buy it again. You're like, I'll just buy it. I won't buy it next year. Then you do because you fucking forget. It's in a corner. It's right there, right in front of your face. You can't see it. That's what I think. Did that sound curmudgeon-y? I didn't want it to sound curmudgeon -y. No, I'm I did. Totally, you I'm did all not. about the holidays, man. Yay. It's totally cool. So, <laughs> <laughs> so on that, sir, is that about where we're at on all this? Do we have any summarizations? Um, any uh, Valentine's Day needs to go away as a man as any kind of expectation thing because it's sad and men. Fucking man up and be kind to your women all year round, well, fuckers. Everybody, how about that? How about everybody be nice to everybody all the, all time. the time? Like, don't be you know what? Dick, love bro. your love your loved ones, man. Every single day, yeah. we don't, you know, we we don't know how much time we have left. You don't have to buy something to show love. You can do it with a hand gesture or just a smile or a touch or anything. Yeah, simple things are mean a lot. A hug can go a long way. Yes, man. even on Christmas, a even hug on Christmas can go a long way. It's true. 
I, I, you know what? I want many hugs for you in the future, sir. Two Tambian. Oh, is that also? I you hope? also. Beautiful. My dude. Well, that's been uh, another one of our episodes with our rules and regulations. I'm glad that, uh, how the fuck do two hours go by? Go team Halloween. Yeah. I, I how does this happen? Uh, I would like to quote check Mark. It's a time warp, bro. Is let's do the time warp again. <laughs> I have Rocky Horror Picture Show. Every day in, in the Czech Republic is like Rocky Horror. Just it's the scary. horror. It's men dressed as women. Do you like to throw toast at the screen, Checkmark? Is that what they do? Yeah. Toast? They throw toast. Do they toast like something? No, they throw toast right. at the movie screen. Yeah, I know, but what's it what's represent? I don't represent? know why. Oh. I don't, I've, I've never watched it. Is I saw it once in college in... <laughs> What's his was name? That, wait, was that during your experimental time? Yeah, the one time I was experimenting? <laughs> Correct. And what's his name? Mike Swisher had lipstick on. Mike Swisher. And he threw toast at the screen. Oh, my God. It was You're amazing. Like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> Take off that lingerie. But not now. <laughs> Change into something else is what I mean. Put some other pants on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, that's been uh, another Googles of the beer. Well, also leave huh. a comment. What what, yes. what does everybody think about holiday decorations? Subscribe. Do, are we totally Subscribe. full of crap? Subscribe. Subscribe. Okay. Subscribe. Okay. Rate, are you, are you broken? I Subscribe. I was, Subscribe. I think I was, Subscribe. Sorry. I was just saying. Go, go ahead. Rate review. Tell us what you think. You yeah, leave review. a comment. What do you? What's everybody think about holiday decorations? We'd love to hear from you. Absolutely. We had someone on the YouTubes, just so you know. Yeah. When we did our fast food, they left their three. No shit. It was Burger King centric. Nice. It was a Whopper with extra cheese. Nice. Plain Whopper with extra cheese. Burger, uh, McDonald's fries. And I think it was a Burger King drink. Uh, Burger King dessert Ooh, was an extra. They threw nice. A, they threw dessert in there. That was smart. Very smart. Nice. And they had another drink. But I'll give them props. I'll I'll look it up again. But what about holidays in other countries like Boxing Day yeah. in Canada? Do they decorate for Boxing Day? That's a good question. Or other other holidays that were not Boxing Day is only like one day apart, right? Isn't it's it? It's December twenty sixth. Yeah, it's the, the next day, right? Yeah. So I would think it, the tradition's probably the same. I, I have no idea. We have a very crack research person in Canada, Tatiana, Tata Canada, who can tell us in Canada. There you go, Tatiana. We need your crack research to get on this and tell us about your Canadian or do they, Canadian? Do you, you Canadian know, there's, there, holidays? There's a several Canadian centric holidays. Do you put your maple leaf flag up? You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, like, like National Day. That, I, I know. I have no yeah. idea. So I'm I apologize for showing my ignorance. But what well, no, other that's a good question? You like, know. Is there like a market day for other countries? Right. For example. Well, yeah. Ju uh, Canada is July 1st. How about that? I had no idea. Yeah, because I had to memorize some because of work. Yeah. I know that July 14th is Bastille Day. Yes. The French. It's a great Rush song. Is it? Yes. Bastille? Bastille. Bastille? Oui, oui. So. Oh. Well, well, thank you again for everyone for uh, checking in with us. Yes, it's only we've only wasted two hours of your day this time. Of our day, also. No, we've shared two hours of our day with you. Yes, you've wasted two hours of your day listening to us. Yes, that's let's get this straight. And I have a new finishing line to every podcast, sir. I okay before that happens. Yes, sir. Please. Yes. Please get on the apples. Or anything, and just follow us, subscribe to our show, auto download these de episodes, review us, rate us. However, just click. There's there's stars. Just click on them. We love five, but we we love honesty. I've got we've gotten a four. Stop it. So please follow us, subscribe, rate, review. The more that happens, the more attention we get. It it's obviously hap happening because people are. We're, I'm seeing the downloads increasing like ec like slowly exponentially as as it's getting as we're getting along. But thank you. But please help us out. Yeah. Okay. I now now we get to hear closing arguments. The closing statement of every podcast going forward is the following: Be excellent to each other. Isn't that stolen from something? It sure as fuck is, but I don't care because it it we need that sentence today more than ever. I think it was Socrates that said that. It was Bill and Ted. Be excellent And it was also Abe Lincoln. Be <laughs> excellent to each other and party on, dudes. Party on, dudes. 
Be ex- You know, that is that is true. Instead of don't be a dick, it's now be excellent to each other. I like it. It's You're got welcome. a much more positive. Correct. That's I don't the like entire the don't point. stuff. Correct. I agree completely. Be excellent. Do we talk about don't and how that works uh, psychologically and subconsciously in the brain? We'll do that on another, yeah. on another podcast. Sure. A knocked conscious. I think it's time for you to get home and feed your doggies. Yes, sir. That's correct. Team right. Smushy. Well, once again, this has been another uh, beer Google. Yes, sir. It's been double E. Double O. Double G. Thank you so much for listening to us. You guys have yourselves a great day. Be excellent to each other. And Bye. be excellent to each other. Bye.